Live from the studios of KYMB Television in Monterey, California, it's Monterey on Tonight with Gary and Jules. Four hours of your favorite classic music videos from yesterday and today. Telephone and in-studio guests and a few surprises along the way. And now, here are your hosts, Gary and Jules. <laughs> Get to sit on TV for four hours. This is kind of um, something that we do over in the San Joaquin Valley with one of our TV stations, and that's where we got the idea to do it here in Monterey. And, and we also want to not forget to thank Cool TV. Right. Because uh, we've got a new affiliation agreement with them for our KYMB TV digital channel, and we are able to bring you some of these uh, wonderful music videos. Actually, classic music yes. videos from the past. We're starting back in the early days of music videos, back when MTV came on the air. 1981 August 1st and um, we're going to play not right now but we are going to play the very first music video tonight that MTV played back in 1981 actually we have to start Dave do you have the music video money for nothing here okay so the, the actually the music video we're playing is the first music video MTV played in Europe in Europe. Europe. This that's is, right now. We're going to do that That's right, right now. now. But and then, then we're going to play the very first, first one that was played on MTV here in the United States. So this one is Money for Nothing by the Dire Straits. And this video appeared in 1985. And you, if you listen real carefully, you want to guess who you'll hear a familiar singer in there. I think uh, someone told me it was Sting. Correct. Ah, it was absolutely it was he Sting. He does that, I want my MTV. <laughs> Something like that. We could start it. We okay, get well, let's get going. Hey, okay, there it is. Uh, Money for Nothing, Dire Straits, back from 1985. I really like that music That was fun. Video. That was a fun song. And we turned the volume up really loud here in the studio. They were dancing. Our studio audience was <laughs> dancing. We're having a lot of fun here. Uh, this is Monterey on tonight. If you just happened to tune in, I'm Gary. And I'm Jules, and you're watching KYMB Comcast Channel 19. Right here in Monterey. Monterey's only locally owned and operated TV station. That's right. The big corporations, look out. We're here, Mom and Pop TV. <laughs> anyway, we want to thank me and Ed's. They are our first hour sponsor tonight. And um, Akram over at me and Ed's at the corner of Broadway in Fremont in Seaside. Thank you so much, Akram. In fact, right now, we're going to get him on the phone. Juliana is going to get him on the phone. But first, you want to talk about me and Ed's. Oh, I absolutely do. Me and Ed's has been in business, I believe it was over 58 years. They are very well known in the San Joaquin Valley and Central Valley, clear from north of Sacramento, south of Bakersfield. And now they are here on the Monterey Peninsula in Seaside at the corner of Broadway and Fremont at the uh, right next door to the former Starbucks uh, Center. So it's it's absolutely, I'm not kidding you, I'm, it's such the world's best pizza and you're the, prejudiced uh, no, well it's so good <laughs> when before we lived here we used to come see Gary's mom and I used hi, to mom. <laughs> hi mom <laughs> I used to bring the pizza with me because it, 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 it's it's that memorable it, once you try it you will never go to anyone and I think it has to do with Akron was telling me the the oven that they used yes and the dough Special the crust dough. is not anything like you've ever had before and, and so, I hope we're, we're making you hungry right now because we're going to get Akram on the line. We're going to order our pizza, and we're going to have a special for all of you out there watching tonight that Akram's going to offer to all of you. So why don't you go ahead I and... I will, and I'll let him know. What we're going to ask for when we call is the $10. $10. It's $10. $10. Three-topping pizza. It's ready? $10. Okay, okay, I'll get him on the phone. You get him on the phone. Let's dial him up and... Um, Whoop, got to hang up. It's actually... 899-0101. Dave, if you could punch that on the screen. Dave's our engineer oh, back here. There it is. Is it there? It is. Oh, great. Okay. And in case you forget, 0101 and turn on the... Uh, right now? Yeah. Push the call. Let's see if we can get him on the line. Do you have to turn up the... Do you have to turn up the... Is it ringing, Dave? Do you need to turn no, the speakers up? Yeah. Yep. Hello, Akram. Welcome to live TV, folks. Hello? Can I hit drop, Dave, and go back to it? Yep. Okay, drop. Well, our first technical difficulty. No, this is just real TV. It's called reality TV. Okay, 899-0101. Now, do I need to listen, Dave, for him to answer? 
can. You can. Hit, call. call. I can hit. Okay, I'll yeah. hit call and hang this up. Sure. Okay. Okay, me and What do you Ed's, want? Uh, how about the uh, pepperoni and uh, mushroom? Why is it dialing? It's not plugged in. Did you hear a dial tone? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, heard a dial tone. Okay, well, what we'll do is go to a music video and we'll figure it out while you guys are watching <laughs> the next music video. Akram. Akram, are you there? No, just hit drop and we'll. Okay, uh, okay, we'll order we'll it offline. We'll go to our next music video. Well, the it'll first. be here when you come back from the video, though, yeah, definitely. The well, I wanted to get him on the line, though. Well, we, we have will. To we'll tell out. him how we liked it. Okay. Okay. Very good. So <laughs> now you have the next music video, which is. Video Kill the Radio Star by the Bugles, and this debuted in 1979. And what's interesting, you, you may remember this, you may not, but once you're watching the video, the theme of this is that when the golden era of radio was fading and, and TV started to come around, yeah. this is basically how a musician at the time felt. Mm. When when that era was going away, so it's 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 a tribute to that era. And they thought that when MTV started, that it was going to put radio out of business. Well, actually, when television started. Oh, when television. Right, started. and then MTV, uh, MTV came. started. And then when radio. MTV oh, TV came along, it brought everything back. Right. Thank you. Thank okay. you for that. <laughs> television started. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is. Uh, Did you kill the radio star? And then we'll come back with Akram. All right, that was uh, the cars. And um, that was Gary Bob, Newman. Gary Newman. I'd like to tell him about Bob Okay, go ahead. Go okay, ahead. this mu that music video that you just watched. What's I like the stories behind the videos because I watched them for like 20 years but never knew the story. And then you went on Google. And, and then got I all googled the it. Right, Wikipedia. Yeah. Thank you. Well, the, the Gary Newman was in Europe and he was in a perilous situation in traffic, and I guess the people in front of him were getting out and trying to get in the car to like beat him up. And so what he did was he got out of traffic and jumped on the pavement and took off and then that's what inspired the song and and about how safe we feel within the confines of our car in the middle of crazy chaotic society and so. one of my <laughs> favorite videos and uh, before that of course uh, we had the uh, the very first video that mtv played back in 1981 and we have a guest. We have a guest, Gwen from Me and Ed's. Gwen we is, were at yes, and uh, kind of lean that up a little there bit, Gwen. Go. And that Dang, is our pizza. pizza. Yes. We ordered a uh, mushroom, and they have two kinds of mushroom, the canned mushroom or the uh, fresh mushroom, pepperoni and extra cheese is what we ordered tonight. And the crust, I don't know if I can do this on air, but the crust is crispy and thin. Yeah, that's it's the thin crust. All the pizzas come on thin crust, um, unless you ask for thick, and that's really good also. And uh, we uh, are actually, I wish you guys had uh, smell-o-vision out there. <laughs> I was so thinking that earlier. You, you, you could smell this pizza. It just Or you could always come in and buy one. That's right. <laughs> you well, know, you know we what? Is Akram on the specials. line right now? Akram, Akram are you here? Akram, can you hear us? I, I hope you enjoyed the dinner. It's a great pizza. And, uh, <laughs> We're here to make it happen for you guys. Well, Akram, you know, we uh, thank you so much for sponsoring our first hour of our very first show, the uh -huh. Monterey on tonight. Thank the you best, for that. Best of luck to all of you guys. Oh, it's thank the best you. Best of luck to all of you. And, and I'm, I hope you enjoyed the pizza. And, and I just want to say that uh, anybody just come in and we, we have a great pizza for you guys. We have a place, beautiful place to hang out and enjoy. And, Fireplace is going right now. We've got a big meeting in the back, but that's okay. We get the music going. We get the jukebox and, and and the video game, and it's a it's a very nice and family atmosphere. You can come by and have fun. Hey, we love your me and Ed's pizza, Akram. Thank you. And Thank you. you have Juliana talked about it earlier tonight, but you have a special going, and I want you to tell the people right now what you're going to do for them with a three topping pizza we how much a three, a three topping large pizza for first time ever ever that me and Ed will go it's ten dollars ten dollars is that good for and delivery absolutely and, it's a free and delivery is always free we too got free, free delivery we go out and see people out there in the rain in the fog in the heat in a beautiful night and it's a great, 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 great town. It's how fine. can how can we go wrong with that, Akram? Never, never. It's, a, it's ten dollars. Absolutely. Hey, absolutely. Dave, can you put the phone number on the screen for us? I, uh, I also want to say, um, ask Akram. What time do you close tonight, Akram? Uh, we're here till eleven o'clock, and uh, we deliver all the way till eleven o'clock. You come in and 
enjoy yourself if you like to on a dine in and you can come in the afternoon for buffet. Do you have enough room for for someone to bring all their friends? Absolutely. Come on in okay. anytime. You know, we, we, we have a hundred uh, capacity in here. We can you can come in anytime and we got a few tables right now. We got a whole bunch of uh, people in the back room. We got a big uh, big yeah, meeting back tonight. there, but we have a fun in here. Well, that's great. Well, thank you, Akram. Thank Anytime. you for being our sponsor. Everyone out there watching tonight, the first time only special from me and Ed's for ten dollars for to also, a large yeah, pizza. Three toppings. But also, be sure and when you call and when you go in to say that you saw the special on KYMB on the show, so that way Akram uh, knows, uh, so we can get that feedback from him. That would be great. And the phone number again is eight three one. Eight nine nine zero one zero one to order your fresh hot pizza. Okay, and Gwen, thank you for Thanks, bringing Gwen. it to thank us tonight. We're going to go enjoy some pizza right now. Stay tuned because we're going to have Sarah Nicole on with movie reviews coming up next. And later on in the program, Doug Lumston from Monterey Movie Tours. And we're going to have Doug as our guest here in about 15 minutes. So stay tuned. What's the next video? Uh, the next video is uh, J from Journey. It's Faithfully. And then we've got a song from uh, Madonna. So enjoy. Stay enjoy tuned. The music. <laughs> yeah, here's the music <laughs> for fun. you. And how would you rate the Me and Ed's pizza? It's good. So, um, can I take the rest home with me? Sorry, we need it for the test. Let's make that very good. Pizza's made to a higher standard. Me and Ed's, two fun guys, one serious pizza. Oh, yeah, and uh, here we are back again. And uh, thank you so much, Dave, for the Me and Ed's commercial. And the young lady that you see sitting to our right is Sarah Nicole. Hello, thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. And before we get to you, Jules wants to talk about those last two music videos well, or just one? Well, actually, Madonna's video was released in 1984, but the one prior to that was A Journey from Steve Perry. And I don't, I don't know if you know that, but uh, he was born in Hanford, California. Where's Hanford? Where's Hanford? <laughs> you know where Hanford is. It's in, in the San Joaquin Valley. And then he attended school in Lemoore. And where's Lemoore? You know where Lemoore is? There's a lot of people watching that have uh, Central Valley roots. And then he went to college in um, Visalia. But what's interesting is his mom was real supportive of his music career. And he answered a call uh, to uh, San Francisco bands. The, the Journey Band is actually out of San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And when he went, got involved with the band, there was already a band leader. So he was basically went on tour with them as a ro as just an assistant. Ah. And then what they did was they brought him on board for a soundtrack and he did so, or for a, a sound test before a concert and he did so well they just booted the original singer off and brought him on. But he he posed as a cousin of one of the people in the band just so that they could kind of get him in. Boy, you really <laughs> you really kind of covered it all. But I I've got I, I've got something what? I have to ask you. What? Where is Steve Perry today? I can tell you. I know that too. <laughs> Del Mar, California. Oh, okay. Oh, what's he doing? You know what? He's enjoying his retirement. He actually had some health problems. He had he to have a hip replacement and some. Yeah, he he had some some challenges at a, at a relatively young age. You found that all out on the internet. Yeah, is it great? Del Mar is a nice place to end up, yeah. especially after a big career. Like I used to live down there for a while. Oh well, well, well welcome. Thank, Thank you, you for coming tonight. And Sarah's going to be here every week, except next week she's going to be calling in her report via Skype, I guess. And because uh, you're going to be yeah, out I'll of be town. on my laptop because I won't be in studio. But um, and this this time for the first show, I'm just going to kind of give an outline of uh, what's coming up this week on our channel on KYB Channel 19 because we are the local movie channel. So we're going to have um, all kinds of uh, great movies, a lot of older movies, some newer movies. Um, a lot of younger people like me haven't even heard of some of these older movies that uh, some of these big actors were in. And it's like, um, well, for example. Uh, Monday, this coming Monday, so if you tune in, starting at 5 p.m., there's a movie called Breathless with Richard Gere. You may have heard of it. It's from uh, 1983. Um, I hadn't seen it before uh, I started 
picking movies from our, our channel to watch. It's an action drama romance thriller. Um, it's also going to be playing again on Wednesday at, uh, let's see, 7.30 it looks like. And you can find uh, the schedule on our website. That's correct? It's listed? Absolutely. A, a we link. go to go to uh, www.kymbtv.com and there's a link to the thistv.com uh, uh, website. You can watch actually a lot of movies right there off the This TV uh, schedule. I think, I think Dave likes the the uh, camera on Sarah, Sarah Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> well, it does and, agree and with her, I, doesn't I it? I noticed that it stayed on the whole time that what you were can talking, I say? Jules. <laughs> it's okay. This is my segment. <laughs> well, anyways, just some of my recommendations. If you tune into Channel 19 this week, we have The Breathless uh, Monday at 5 o'clock. And then right after that is Small Sacrifices with Farrah Fawcett. She's kind of a big name right now because... Um, you know, her death and everything. We, we're all thinking about her. Uh, from 1989, so she was a lot younger. That starts at 7 p.m. on Monday. Um, and then if you skip over to Wednesday, if you happen to be um, Wednesday evening at 5, uh, Clint Eastwood movie. For all of our, our hey. locals here in Monterey, we're a big Clint Eastwood fan because he lives in the area. What's the movie? The movie is from 1974. It's Thunderbolt and Lightfoot. Wow. which is an action-adventure action comedy. That also is going to play again um, Thursday, in case you can't watch it on Wednesday. Thursday at uh, 7.30. I see uh, Betty White's in a movie, too. Yep, so Saturday. skip over to uh, on Saturday. If you happen to be at home uh, early on, it looks like uh, at 10 o'clock, is a Betty White movie from 1991 called Chance of a Lifetime. She's local, too. She's also a local one Hey, that I love. heard she was going to be on Saturday Night Live soon. I got yeah, her. Is that the, true, Saturday Night, Night Live has Betty White coming on. Um, you know what? Uh, I wonder how many years it's going to take us to get Clint Eastwood to come to our show oh, or Betty maybe White he'll to come to us. our show. Have maybe you seen watch. the new commercial with Betty White that they played during the Super Bowl for the Snickers bar? Yes. Wasn't that fun? When she tackled the, the, yes, the player. Yes, that, that was so funny. So funny. She's, in, she's a great She's a great woman. sport. She's so cute. Actually, didn't she live down the street from your mom? She does. And she didn't she they has a home down the street from mom and Car right. Carmel Meadows. Is it the one she built when her and Alan? Uh, Alan Ludden. London. Yeah, Ludden. Ludden. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he was the game show host for Password. That's okay. how, I think she was a guest on Password, and that's how they met. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's cool. Huh. A little trivia, and I didn't have to look it up on Google. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a lot of local celebrities here, and we, we get do. to watch them right on our own local uh, TV channel. and Channel 19, Comcast Cable 19, KYMB, right and you know, here. One of the things I wanted to mention is that this network, this TV, is a, a new TV network nationwide. We're the local affiliate, and MGM Studios decided to put this together and so that they could utilize, they have a library of over 4,000 movies from Orion and Polygram, the MGM library, and then they have over 10,000 episodes of classics like Mr. Ed, The Outer Limits. It's just, like, amazing. There's quite a diversity on our channel. We have old shows and old movies and newer stuff, You too. know what I watched? I didn't tell you. I no. watched uh, Yul Brynner's Future World. It's a part two to Westworld. Oh, wow. And I, rec I DVR'd uh, the center. That's great. The, I like all the science fiction. Hey, you know, uh, also, I talked to Steve Thomas, Thomas Brand Marketing here okay. in Pacific Grove, and he's going to talk to the Lighthouse Cinema in Pacific Grove. And we're going to see if you can go over to the Lighthouse <laughs> and do uh, movie reviews of current films okay, as well to. as doing I'll call our, them on Monday. You yeah, want to call them on Monday? That, that'd be great. Yeah, because uh, that way we can find out what's current. You mm -hmm. can review, review the current movies. Mm -hmm. And um, and then we'll also have you do the um, the MGM that's this a TV great mix. Movies. And then who knows if I'll uh, review a movie that's at the theater and then later down the road it ends up on our station. So that would yeah, be kind of cool. Probably <laughs> in a few years it might <laughs> might end up. Okay, well thank you, Sarah. Thank you, and I'll see you next week um, on my webcam. Yes. So I'll do a more in depth. Where review. are you going? I am going to Southern California. Southern California. Okay. Southern California. A little Enjoy bit warmer. A little bit warmer, yeah. but I love Monterey too. Monterey has its beautiful days. We oh, love it great. here. Okay. Well, it's well nice it isn't you. Allegiant have like a new ninety nine dollars or is it nine dollars and ninety nine cents? Nine ninety nine per Are you talking about nine dollars? Nine dollars oh and ninety nine cents. Oh Allegiant we, we, is great. We've to got to get Allegiant as a sponsor of this show. Call Monday. <laughs> yes, I will. Please. <laughs> and while you're waiting for Allegiant, you gotta eat at the Golden Tea restaurant. They're not a sponsor now, so I'm not biased here. They are the Golden so good. Tea is at the Monterey good. Peninsula Airport. Yeah, we're always having our meetings there. Okay, okay. you know, it's okay. beginning to sound like The View here. We're all talking <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> How about some more music? Okay, what's the next one on the okay, list? Okay, uh, that would be Rick Springfield, and you know what? I discovered what? his real name. Oh, 
It's and not Rick is? Springfield. It's he was born Richard Lewis Springthorpe. And do you know? <laughs> no you wonder he changed his <laughs> name. <laughs> do you remember, Sarah? Do you know? Do you know what uh, soap opera he was from, or Gary? Uh, General know? Hospital. Okay, what was his character name? Uh, that I don't. Doctor something. <laughs> of course, he was a doctor. <laughs> doctor Noah Drake. Oh, Doctor Noah yes. Drake. Yes. Yeah, I thought that was the shadow. No. Anyway, so this is anyway. from, this is called, what's the name of this video? I don't know. I lost my place. Well, right I here. Got my, what is it, Dave? What kind of fool am I? What kind of fool am I? Okay. Okay. Enjoy here we it. Go. Here's okay. the next See video you next week. on Bye, Monterey Sarah. on Thanks tonight. Thank you, Sarah Nicole. All right. Okay, we're back, and uh, guess what? Uh, that was a video that uh, you researched on the Internet, and uh, it was... <laughs> The fix, one thing leads to another. And actually, if you were watching the video and you saw like that tunnel, mm -hmm. and basically what it was, was it was a science lab where they go into another dimension and that tunnel is like that other dimension. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like the sci-fi video. So More back when, when this came out, like I had no idea as a teenager what these videos meant. Now I can find out. More information <laughs> that I really cared about. Okay, well anyway. And who was on before that, Rick? I don't know, I was busy oh, eating my busy. pizza. Yeah, that was so right. good. Thank you, me and Eds. Thank you, me and Eds, for sponsoring our first hour. We only have 10 minutes left here on the first hour. Our guest sitting to your right, Juliana. Hi, Doug. Hi. Is Doug Lumsden. 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 It's a tough Scottish name. It's tough. I From Monterey to Movie Tours. Welcome. Monterey Movie Tours. Welcome, Doug. Hey, Jules. Hey, Gary. How are you doing? Good this to is, see I you. am so happy to be on your inaugural show. Oh, this hello. is so, and I've been in the audience for about an hour. We've You've had been out here watching. me and Eds Pizza. I'll tell you, we've been having fun. Did we've been booging to all the old, mm -hmm. all the old uh, video. Have uh, you been watching uh, this TV? Oh, I have. Absolutely. Are you kidding? Ever since you started, you see movies you just don't see anywhere like else. Like what was some of the ones you've seen? Oh, well, I saw, um, let's see, um, Moby, Dick. Moby Dick. How about that? I mean, you just don't see that on TV. I know. This KYMB, Comcast Channel 19, I'll tell you, I'm just so thrilled about it because, you know, when you when you open up, you know, the TV guide, every, you see the same movies all the That's time. That's right. And now we have this wonderful station that you, you're going to see movies that you just haven't seen for 20 or 30 years. And you know what's, re what's really great is they're, they're available, I'm sure, if you go through Netflix or, or online, on demand, but we make it really convenient. It's, you got it. it. And it's a surprise, you, got it. you know, yeah. what's next. So. Yeah. Anyway, so if they have the Comcast DVR, they can record them, too, yeah. and watch them anytime. Oh, absolutely. Want. No, I'm just thrilled about it. I'm having a ball of fun watching well, their great. channel. Well, we're yeah. looking forward to wrapping some local programming. That's why we're doing what we're doing right now around the movies. And we wanted to share with our viewers, because we've known you for a couple of years now. I've happened to take your tour a couple of times. Yes, you have. And yes, enjoyed have. it. I took it. We, Gary and I took it ourselves, and then I had some family come to town, which was real convenient, so I took it with them. Always then, good to put the relatives on. It's true. Oh, always. Yeah. And then Gary, really you had family from <laughs> Italy come, right? I did. I did. And they couldn't uh, speak a word of English, but they sure enjoyed it. You know tour. what they wanted to know? They took the tour and then they wanted to know where Clint Eastwood's house is. That's there you right. go. And they were so insistent on it that you were in Pebble Beach and you pointed to the biggest house <laughs> I and said, said there it, it is. That's right. And they go and tapped Okay, I did, not, I did not say anything about that. No, 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 we're no. There's a little inside <laughs> joke here, but, uh, oh, but uh, for the viewers that yes. have lived here, I know, Gary, you use an analogy of living in New York, right? And right and not yeah. uh, going to the Empire State Building. Or, or the Statue of Liberty. Or Statue of Liberty. And so if you happen to live in Monterey, full-time or part-time, if you've not taken this tour, it's like absolutely a must-do. Well, let's Definitely. tell our audience, maybe it's the first time they've heard about Monterey movie tours. Tell them what it's all about, Doug. Well, we go to sites on the Monterey Peninsula where movies were filmed, and we show the scene on the overhead monitor. We have the... I, there's very few of these tours in the world here today. We were, I believe, the second Hawaii movie tours were the first over in Kauai to incorporate scenes of movies right where they were filmed. Now there's Boston movie tours, San Francisco movie tours, Savannah, Georgia movie tours, Portland movie tours, and I think soon to be Dallas and Chicago. So it's kind of spreading a little bit. This is not a chain. It's not a franchise. They're all individually owned. We think we have one of the best. How many movies here. were Absolutely. filmed here? Because of the number of movies. We've had nearly 200 movies filmed. Wow. At the Monterey Peninsula. Did you know? Yeah. No, I didn't yeah. know. This is movie, movie land. This is, we have yeah. a lot of movie making magic here. And uh, we're always, uh, I've been part of the Monterey County Film Commission for a while. Sure. And uh, uh, we're always trying to get uh, studios to make their films here. We've had this, we have this tremendous scenic settings. 
beautiful, beautiful settings here, and 17-mile uh, drive is a big part of our tour. And you can imagine, anytime you have 17-mile drive on a on a tour, you're doing okay. Well, I tell <laughs> We're you, lucky. just the few years that Gary and I have been here, and since we've taken the tour, I really appreciate now and uh, some of the places that I drive by on Cannery Row yes, right. and the Marilyn Monroe yeah. scene yeah, Marilyn or Monroe Colton Monroe. Hall, because now I understand, <laughs> you know, some of the history and the background in the movies. So I, I and then was it? Um, uh, National Velvet, yes. Elizabeth Taylor, yes. filmed out at uh, 17 Mile That's drive. the movie that catapulted her in the stardom. Yeah. And so. many scenes were filmed right on the Pebble Beach Golf And fence. how many um, people does your bus uh, hold? We hold 32. And and they were uh, very comfortable seats. They were high really, back. Really, really comfortable. And you luxury, stopped, and see. I could use the restroom and get something <laughs> yes. to eat. Yeah. yeah. yeah how long does, uh, uh, does the tour last? It's Doug? a three-hour tour. We make three stops, uh, all photo opportunity stops. We stop for a long period of time at the Lodge of Pebble Beach. Oh, okay. great. And, of course, that's one of the greatest resorts in the world. Uh, and from the back deck, a little golf course called the Pebble Beach Golf Links, four times the side of the U.S. Open. We all know locally the fifth coming up June I know. of this year. I know. We're all excited about it. Um, we're just so lucky to have this tremendous scenic setting in our area, and we try to highlight it through scenes of movies. That now, we're where here. where um, do you pick up for your tour? Where do you start your we, tour? We pick up right at the Monterey Conference Center, downtown Monterey. Okay. And, and um, I know there's a little sign there. Yes. Yeah, we have a sign. Now, do we? Does pictures. somebody have to like call ahead of time to it, get? It, yes. Okay. You do have to reserve seats, and uh, you just give us a call, um, and uh, we have a uh, local number is eight three one three seven two six two seven eight. Okay. You know, the best thing to do is just go to our website at MontereyMovieTours.com. It's on the screen right there. There, there you go. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. And then, yes, you can go ahead and just book right off our site right there. Okay. And, and you have a special deal for our viewers. Well, we do. What is that special deal? Uh, uh, the special $10 deal off? is, is it the MCC ten dollars off. Yes. Oh, yeah, there okay. it is. Ten dollars off. Zone. Normal pricing is fifty-five dollars, and uh, if you have AAA, we're one of the very few attractions. Uh, on uh, in our area that okay. has been AAA approved, and uh, we're in the book. Okay. And, uh, and then the code that's, for the that's, ten dollars off. That's some off there. And the code would be if you're booking off the internet, you go to uh, the promo code is MCCVB. And what's that stand for? Monterey County Convention Visitors Bureau. Okay. So MCCVB. And that'll get us the discount. You know, another way and is if just you to call happen me. to just, just call. Can we just call you, Doug? <laughs> it might be easier. Can you put it just together say, for us? Just okay. say. Just say. Or I want to talk to you. If you guys forget, call us. At you the know station. what? You know what would be fun to do is what? to do a KYMB like bus tour special for sure. the station, and we, you and I. Can be on it and yeah. hey, we had Doug on it. Should we do Wouldn't that? Would that be fun? Yeah. We'll have Sarah Nicole on. Well, setting, yeah, and we can get our autograph. autograph. Oh, boy, Sarah yeah, Nicole, we're getting a Sarah Nicole on too? Okay, yeah. we're getting yeah. a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> There's no question about that. I just I, I, saw Sarah Nicole here. Did you? <laughs> She's terrible. Did you get her autograph? Well, actually, <laughs> just about. She, Sarah's done some um, She's off to Hollywood, documentaries down in San Diego. I've that seen some of those. She's about uh, Tory Pines. Yeah, so. You guys are lucky to have her. You know. Yeah. She's on her way to the E Channel pretty soon, so we're very fortunate in the market to have her so yeah. anyway we can watch out for some more things but Doug yes. I can't wait to to get a group together and come on well, your we're tour. Well, we're going to do it. Oh, yeah. it'll be fun. It'll well, be you fun. stay with us while we do the next video? I'm not going anywhere. Okay, great. I know there's some, some pizza with my name there's on it. There's still pizza. <laughs> Why don't you so. get some pizza and we'll okay. do the next video. Okay, the next video is we have five minutes left in the hour. I'll tell you Sponsored what it is. by me and Ed's Absolutely. Pizza. And thank you, Doug, for You're sponsoring welcome. our next hour. Our next hour's sponsor tonight is Monterey Movie Tours. And Doug... He was so nice to do that for Absolutely. us. Absolutely. So stick around. I am. And then um, our, uh, I wanted to also mention about me and Ed's. If you can get there tonight before they close, I, okay, I, I like cold beer, mm -hmm. and they have the coldest <laughs> mugs. This is, sounds silly, but it really, you'll totally notice. They have the coldest mugs, I think, in the whole world. They're frosty mug beer. That's Order a pizza and beer. tell Akram that you saw us on KYMB TV. And the next video coming up here is Betty Davis Eyes by Kim Carnes. And when we come back, I'll give you a little history about that. Okay, video. one of my favorites. Here it is. Anything? I got nothing. Pencils! Yes! I want a pizza! Had to work late again. No, don't wait dinner. I'll just grab something. It's a taste worth working late for. Pizza's made to a higher standard. Me and Ed's, two fun guys, one serious pizza. Okay, we're back, and uh, that was Ken Carnes and Betty Davis Eyes, and you have... 
some information about that video. Oh, I certainly do, Gary. That um, video was actually written in 1979, but Kim Carnes recorded it in 1981. And what was interesting is that Betty Davis appreciated the video so much that she actually thanked Kim Carnes for uh, bringing her into modern times. Yeah, Betty Davis I. So um, I, we want to thank again me and Ed's for sponsoring um, our very first our hour. first hour. We want to yeah. thank uh, Doug Lumsden. And if you haven't ordered a pizza from me and Ed's, they're open till 11. They do free delivery. And also during the week on Wednesdays, they have something really interesting. They have called Wacky Wednesday. So every day of the week, Monday through Friday, they have a special for that day. But on Wednesdays, you can pick any of their specials. And when you go, make sure you saw them, on, uh, tell them you saw uh, us on KYMB TV so that way they can make sure they give you a really great pizza, which they uh, always do. But great, <laughs> great pizza, but and it will them. help us keep them as a sponsor. So, and then um, also, I wanted to share with you, I don't think I'd mentioned to you some of the events that are coming up here in Monterey. No. We have just found out that the Eastminster. Um, radio show and that's on KNRY radio Susan is the host of that and I actually didn't know why it was named that so I went to their website and I found out that there's a Westminster um, uh, pet award ceremony ah. Do you, you've seen the pet shows mm -hmm. and Susan I just talked with her on the phone yesterday she was really interested in you know creating a uh, show for all the other breeds that don't make it into the dog show so she created the eastminster um uh or westminster where's east, my east, right where's here. my nose okay she, yeah east she's the eastminster pet show program well anyway they're having a pet parade so if you like dogs this is going to be really fun it's their first annual pet parade and it's helping with the uh, animal welfare ah, division okay. and it is on let me look at my notes here april 3rd from 1 p.m to 4 p.m at the sunset center that's a long way off it is, but I'm just getting everybody ready because okay. they, if you like get all involved now, all they're you. looking for volunteers, so it's like get it on oh, your okay. calendar now. And if you want more information, you can actually um, look them up online or just give us a call or send us an email. Our phone number here at the studio, Dave, do you have our phone number here that you can punch up on the screen for the viewers? KYMB. 831 899 2727. It's okay. We'll tell you guys later. That's yeah, okay. That's no biggie. 831-899-2727 or our website, www.kymbtv. We have a feedback form so that way you don't have to memorize like our email address. So you can just like plug your comments in or ask for information about anything that there we mentioned go. during There's the, the show. There's the website. So um, we have a, a, another view, video. We have a video and then we have none other than the famous Teeny Shake. <laughs> who's going to be here as our next guest for the next few minutes. And uh, we'll play a video. We'll get ready to have Teeny on the set. And what is the next video? Uh, Eddie Money. He's played, I think, at every fair that's been around. I think uh, I saw him at the Fresno District Fair <laughs> many years ago. Too. <laughs> it's one of his uh, videos from the 80s. Um, and the gal that's in this video, she went in to star in the uh, movie Purple Rain. With, her name's Apollonia. So this was something that she did before she went into her brief mu movie career. And so I want to make sure we thank Cool TV. They are the uh, no new affiliate. affiliate. We are the new affiliate. Yeah. We're going to be... Uh, playing the cool TV music videos on one of our sub channels. And, and Gary, I don't think we told the viewers, we have another station that uh, you're building. Yeah. And the call letters will be very familiar to our viewers. KMBY. Which happened to be on a radio station. Here years ago and when, now I, when I worked as a disc jockey right. in Monterey. You did. Yeah. And then it went to another radio station. Oh, it's moved all over, but uh, we've now got, you've it now, got it now. And, now. And we're, we haven't decided exactly what we're going to do with that For channel sure. yet. Okay, But that's cool true. music will end up here on KYMB, and I think we're going to move our shopping channel, okay. uh, Gems TV, over to the new channel that's coming on the air in the next couple of months here in Monterey. Lots planning. We nice. have a lot coming on here in Monterey, folks, so stay tuned. Uh, television is never going to be the same since we came to town. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's play that music video. Here's Eddie Money, and uh, what's the name of this, Jules? Uh, Shaken. Shake it. I love this Shaken. video. Shake it. I love this video. <laughs> Let's, have some fun. Hey, we're back. And uh, Eddie Money, thank you for that video. That's a fun video. Thank you, Cool Music, Cool TV, for providing the videos. And uh, 
We're here tonight here with, with, us. with our good friend, Teeny. Teeny, welcome to our premiere show. Well, thank you. It's good to be and, here. And, you know, Teeny's <laughs> on television here in Monterey and in the San Joaquin Valley on our stations and the Coastal TV Network. We have to talk about that later. How, when, when did you do your first uh, Coastal Cuisine cooking show? It's been almost uh, two and a half years. I can't believe yeah, it. It's and we amazing. met you just right before you were launching yes, you that, did. right? Because you had just uh, did all of that really beautiful remodel at your restaurant. That's correct. Which mic am I using? You're, you can use this one. Okay, we're live TV folks. So just make sure you guys can hear. <laughs> you do the talking. No, it's okay. That's okay. Okay. Well, congratulations to the both of you. You guys are like the Regis and Kelly, uh, you know, all the Monterey. Uh, don't they look great? Yeah, that's oh, that's so uh, that's kind of back in in the days when I wanted to do early TV. And Gary Regis, was right. Regis was getting started in San Diego. Yeah, so. Gary yeah. wanted Gary was uh, like a local Dick Clark in Fresno. Yeah, so it's many like years ago. and and not too mm. long ago they wanted to make you mayor, but we, we no, left we, and we came we to Monterey <laughs> instead. <laughs> and you know, teeny has yeah. been doing television now for about two or three years, mm -hmm. and uh, this is the first time in all the TV shows that he's done that he's ever done live TV. See yep. how much fun I'll life tell you, is. It's wonderful. Hey, stick around. You never know what you're going to be up for <laughs> in this next segment. So. so tell us how this all started, your cooking program, uh, the Coastal Cuisine Show. What gave you the idea to do a cooking show on television, Teeny? You know, it's been something that's been really, a, uh, it has brewed in my heart for probably 15 plus years. Uh, I grew up in the restaurant business. My mom and dad started right on Fisherman's Wharf. Uh, I know many of you have been down to the pier and uh, you know, my earliest uh, things on Fisherman's Wharf, uh, eight years old, I worked in my family's business and learned how to cook, learned how to wash dishes, it went through all the areas of the restaurant business. So I always have had a love and a passion for cooking, good foods, good wines. And at 11 years old, I got my first job across the street at the Cove restaurant. The Cravello family, great Monterey Italian family, owned that restaurant. And I got my first job. They taught me how to make hamburgers. Really? And they taught me how to uh, cook hot dogs and bread fish and make fish and chips and things like that. So at, uh, at 11 years old, my first cook job and just really fell in love with it. So you didn't want to be a fisherman? No, I actually You tried my, it, right? I did. My oldest brothers were commercial fishermen and uh, fished for about 30 years on the Monterey Peninsula. And those guys, uh, they really worked hard. I mean, I have such great respect, but I went fishing with my brother one time and uh, went shrimp fishing, Monterey Bay spot prawns, went out to the boat, went out in the ocean and as sick as can be. And it was like, <laughs> you know, if you could so just- So it's not just the boat, it's the smell of the fish. Oh, that everything, you're bringing in. So that yeah. Whole mix yeah. Is... yeah, now I'm used to the fish because I grew up in okay. that whole business. But, but it was the boat Yeah, the, the boat rocking and uh, and my brothers, they really work hard. So if you're sick, you keep working. Oh. And so- uh, How old are you? I was about 13 years old. Okay. And so I you never, decided to stay in the kitchen. I got back to Fisherman's Wharf. Okay. And I tell you, I got on my hands and knees and kissed the ground. <laughs> the pier. Uh, you know, never wanted to go fishing again after that. And my brothers, uh, I didn't know at this time, but they had these little uh, CB radios. Well, apparently the whole fishing fleet up and down the Central Coast was all laughing at me because <laughs> they all talked to each other and uh, they got a good kick out of it. But, uh, but you know, really developed a great love for just seafood growing up on Fisherman's Wharf. And uh, I remember as a kid, as my brothers would come in from the fishing, uh, as they would come into the Monterey Harbor and would come into the part where they would berth the boat, uh, just standing at the pier as a little boy with just such excitement to watch what, them How come wonderful in. to yeah. be raised here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, really. we, we had to relocate, but you were actually raised here. Yeah. Born I mean, and what, raised. What a yeah. wonderful thing. Yeah, and I, you know, I've traveled all over the world, and everybody always says when I meet people from other parts of the world, they say, well, why'd you leave Monterey? You know, you're vacationing. Isn't that uh, true? And you know what, really, we, we have such a beautiful place that we live in. Now, so you have community. you have Isabella's on Fisherman's Wharf, Correct. and and one of the things that I just recently found out is that when we go to the wharf, if we show our our driver's license, right, right, so we don't have to pay the fee as we're leaving, That's right? That's true. You get free parking, free parking. Free yeah, parking. and it's seven days a week at Fisherman's Great. Wharf, and we offer the best local special three course meal 
uh, for only twelve ninety five. Wow. And that's wow. available at all the restaurants on the okay. wharf. Is so. there anything you have special? Like if somebody comes in and say, I saw Teeny, I saw you on KYMB. Is there something that, like an appetizer special? Absolutely. Or, okay. Sure. Yeah, so. just come on down to the and restaurant. Mention and mention the show. Mention the show, show or the TV station, and you'll get a free uh, calamari appetizer. Oh, wonderful. And I'll tell you what, you know Monterey calamari is the best oh, in the is. world. Oh, it is, and this uh, is really good. We produce it and harvest it right here, so you can definitely taste the okay. difference. Okay, so make sure you mention the show so th and and get your free parking. Yeah. And then also there's uh, the other location you have, which is Latitudes, Latitudes at, at Lover's, Lover's Point. Point. Yep, and that's a great spot. And I want him to answer the question yes. how did you decide to do the cooking shows what what prompted you to, to well, start doing a cooking program? well you know getting back to that you know is is you can you know tell my whole life has been grown you know, i was raised up in a whole seafood lifestyle the biggest complaint that i've always heard from people was you know i love coming to eat seafood at, at, at your restaurant but i don't know how to cook it at home how do i buy it how do i prepare it uh, what do i do and I've heard that over and over and over, you know, from people through the years. So finally, at one point, uh, I thought, you know, I really would like to do a cooking show just about seafood because I wanted to teach people how to take the fear out of cooking seafood at home. That's great. By teaching them simple techniques. And that really is where it birthed from. You've got four four videos here, right? We do. Uh -huh. okay. We have a lot of shows, but and we have four. And where can we get this? This here is available on my website, coastalcuisine.com. Okay. And you can also purchase it directly at the restaurants. If you're down on Fisherman's Wharf or at Lover's Point, uh, pop on in and uh, you can pick them up there as well. Okay. Shrimp, salmon, mm -hmm. snapper, shrimp, sea bass, mussels, yes. pasta, lobster, you know, sea bass, and uh, add, add some, some soul to your add life. Add some soul to your to, uh, life. I even have one show about stuffing fish. It's just titled, you can take it and stuff. <laughs> well, when we um, if we go to a music video, when we come back, I'd like to share what we've what we've done with Teeny on our Coastal TV network, our other business. Sure. Okay. Sure. So absolutely. So we go to a music video. Uh, let's do that, and let's have you hang around. And thank you for being one of our first premier sponsors on uh, the new uh, Monterey on Tonight show. We're going to be here every Saturday night from eight o'clock to midnight live Listen on to some music. cable channel. <laughs> on cable channel 19, 19. <laughs> and music videos and guests like teeny and doug and if you and if you'd like to be a sponsor give us a call 831-899-2727 or visit our website at kymbtv.com and use the feedback form and let us know we'd love to have you on that's right because they only sign short-term contracts they, <laughs> so we need more sponsors <laughs> yes or if you have an event that's coming up be sure and let us know as well absolutely okay let's go to the next music video when you have the one that means so much in your life, treat them well. This is for today and the good days to come. Latitudes at Lover's Point, a teeny shake signature restaurant. What a great commercial that is. That really is. Thank you. And. Um, do you have any idea who the uh, gal and the guy were walking on the beach? <laughs> we do. We know who we they know are. We know who they are. <laughs> no, it's, a, it's a secret. That's right. It's See? a secret. We're not going to tell oh, you. Oh, we're not going to tell? No. Is well, it really in love? I think so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anyway, great commercial, and we're showing that commercial on the Coastal Television Network in six markets. We're in uh, Bakersfield, in Fresno, in Sacramento, San Francisco, San Jose, here in Monterey, and down in uh, San Luis Obispo, Santa Maria. And why don't you tell the folks that are watching tonight, Jules, how the Coastal Television Network came about, because this guy sitting right here is responsible for it. Oh, absolutely. Well, when we uh, came to Monterey, we went to the Tenery uh, restaurant, which was at Lover's Point, and then we went back, and then it was changed. It was la uh, Latitudes. Right. And then you said, I'd like to meet the owner, and we met Teeny, and Gary asked for the business card, and Teeny told us that he was going to start a cooking show. So Gary had the time. Had, cooking show. <laughs> so what, at the time, we put uh, the Coastal Cuisine on one TV station, which was KJEO in Fresno. Right. And then after the new digital era happened, um, there was a lot of opportunity for us to be in different markets. So we ha developed a network called Coastal Television Network, 
which airs 24 hours a day. And tonight at midnight, the premiere showing on Channel 19. Right, right. right we're going to do a show. we're going to do a sample so that the viewers can see what we're doing full time mm -hmm. out of market to promote tourism. So Coastal TV Network is in Sacramento, Fresno, Bakersfield, San Jose, San Francisco, Santa Maria, and I have a phone call to return next week. We have a Las Vegas market that wants it and uh, Los Angeles that. and San Diego. So there is a lot of really great opportunity. I mean, Monterey, but think about it. It's, a, know, it's a world destination. People come here from all over the world. Absolutely, absolutely. And you know, one of the things that we have to also tell the audience is that Teeny is on nationwide. Absolutely. On, on the America American One, America One, One. Network. Uh, and that started after you started airing in Fresno. That's correct. Yeah, so. yeah, it's amazing. Matter of fact, you were one of the big responsible persons. <laughs> I made the phone call. You made the phone call. And hey, we have our scene. own Emerald right here in Monterey. That's right. We're going to perk it up. <laughs> so, so what, what we did Emerald's got bam. I got shaken it up. <laughs> yes. Wait, wait. Flavoricious. Say, Flavoricious. Say, that's right. That's it. I knew you had it. Um, so what we did when, when, when we started the show is we ran a crawl at the bottom of the screen for people to phone in to get a discount coupon. And we had call after call after call. We recorded it and we gave Teeny a copy of the, of the cassette. And then we started having it come to our, our computer. And so, and I just recently, literally like Wednesday or Thursday of last week, had another, another uh, set of phone calls come in. People love it because it's taking the fear out of cooking Seafood. seafood. It is. It's the one thing that people, when you ask them from coast to coast, what is the one thing that you're intimidated, you know, cooking at home? People, they love, they can cook pastas, beef, chicken, but seafood is the one thing that they are just intimidated. Oh, and really? the uh, Coastal Cuisine Cooking Show, really, it gives people confidence because I do it simple. I try to take the fear out so that people can make these great recipes at home for their family. You do. You make it so oh, simple. You know what I learned? I bet I could do well, it. Well, I want to tell Teeny what I learned. What did you there, learn? I was watching the show where you were saying the lobster tail, how to yes. tell a fresh one. Right. You flip it over, and then you can tell if it's dark or if it's light. It was, That's it, right, because I, you know, I was really taught by a lot of the Monterey Italian and Portuguese fishermen that have been generational you know, fishermen. Their families back in Sicily. Portugal, those are the guys in Monterey that taught me as a young kid all the different techniques and all the different ways to cut fish and what to look for. So uh, I really wanted to pass on the tradition yeah. and the history and the culture onto the American public market. You do it. And, you really uh, do. That's really where my And then you made at. this salmon mold with cream cheese and spinach yes. and you froze it you wrapped it in, and and then you froze it yes. and you took it out and you sliced it and it was like oh my goodness i'm going to serve that at like another event it was just dynamite so That's right. so we're going to have yep. you on our comcast cable channel 19 um through on the coastal tv network and then also we have a, a morning uh, scheduled and then a, an afternoon schedule nice. during the week so watch for teeny's coastal cuisine we're show. we're going to change the name of the channel to the teeny shake channel uh, <laughs> yes. so this is a variety show you know everything happens talk show and be sure and, yeah. and go into latitude right. and uh, isabella's and let teeny know that uh, you saw him on tv so and what a great staff you have oh they, totally. yeah. they well, are you know best. isabella's is a it, it's named after my mother Isabella. Yes. you know we we have roots in Calabria, Italy. You're and half so. Italian? And yes, yeah. yeah. And, and, uh, it's a 50%. Yeah, so my mother, when I had the opportunity to name the restaurant, it's a phenomenal seafood restaurant with an Italian twist. And I hope you'll come down if you're visiting uh, Fisherman's Wharf. You'll love it. And you've got, uh, your brothers are there in business too. Yeah. So you've got the, the whale watching. Someone could go whale watching right. and then come over Bella's to Isabella's brother, right. and then have lunch. That's right. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. I mean, Make a, a day of it. You really can. There's a lot to do down at Fisherman's Wharf. That yeah. sounds well, great. Teeny, thank you for being here tonight because I know you're a busy guy. You're always at those restaurants. Okay, will, you, will you come back and maybe we can, you know, I don't know, we can show some more clips of your yeah, other we'll okay, things sure. and we can maybe do some tips, you know, on, on air here. There would be a lot. We'd fun. love to have you on yeah. as a regular guest. That'd yeah. be great. You know, okay. we could just come in and we'll take, well, you know, one of the DVDs here yeah, and, and we'll just turn our late night into a... a to to, uh, to yeah. the Coastal Cuisine <laughs> Coastal Cuisine <laughs> Show. We'll just take it. Instead of music videos. There's you your, know what? There's we, the website. We need w a Monterey w Home w Shopping w Network. <laughs> right here, the first DVD. So, yeah. Hey, we've got, got a channel for it. in the next 10 minutes. We've got a channel for it. So go to CoastalCuisine.com, right? Yes, CoastalCuisine.com. Or email us at info at KYMBTV or visit our website, KYMB. 
1290tv.com for more information, and we'll get that to or you. Or call us at the station. Yep. And thank you for providing such great local television hey, for our you. community. Well, we, listen, it's we really the, love you guys, and we thank, thank you. you it's, it's been a long time in planning. Yeah, yeah we, we have so we, many exciting things in our we're community. We're going to be doing fun things here. Good. Well, I care because I'm born and raised here, and I really love to see our community highlighted. But there's so many things in our own area that even we don't know, know. to do. And, and uh, I'm excited about what you're going to be bringing to the community. Well, here, we're so. looking forward to having yeah. a long run with the On Tonight Show here in Monterey. Thank you for being our guest tonight on our My premiere pleasure. show. My Thank pleasure. you for your sponsorship of all of our stations in the past and in the future. Yes. And uh, let's go oh, now and to... Oh, before, before we do... Go ahead. I, I just remembered. Dave, do you have that photo? I, I don't want to miss this. This oh, was yeah. really, really, really important. Yes. This is live TV, folks, so bear with us. <laughs> that, okay. There's the photo. Tell yes. us about the photo. Tell team. us about the photo. Well, that's uh, that's what I look like with hair and without hair. <laughs> so, I'm kidding. So, <laughs> this uh, actually uh, is the White House chef Sam Cass, and I had the honor to be invited to the White House and to be with the White House chef Sam Cass uh, to go down to Michelle Obama's organic garden and harvest produce down there, and uh, to you know, is is an amazing opportunity. I mean, uh, how many chefs? Yeah. Need to go to the White House and be with the the, the chef there. Yes. I mean because they're really I'm sure really careful because Very they're here careful. around food that's yes. being served. Right. So I mean what a real you know it really was incredible. Not, you know as we had an opportunity to go through the White House. Uh, you know it, it didn't really hit me until we uh, entered you know saw the Oval Office. Yeah. It, it just like well I can't believe it that I made it to the White House. And the White House. Well thank you for Pretty sharing amazing. that photo yeah. Yeah. and yeah. Uh, we'll look forward to hearing more of your adventures. Thank and you. And enjoying more of your food. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And, 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 and if you have an event coming up, you know, a party or just a family reunion, um, I know I really like the latitudes. You've got to go in and check out the, we've had several events there, right there yes, in your, you right. know, you go want to plan a wedding right there at Lover's Point and have the reception in that back room. Yeah, so yeah. I can't talk enough about it. We're going to have yeah. to do it on another show. But <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All <laughs> right. Talk about that. Thank you. Anyway, thank, thank you, Jules. So much. Thank you, Teeny. Okay, what's the next one? Back show? to the music. The and next one? Uh, did, that, did that video open with a big red spot? I don't Meaning, remember. I, you know what? If it did, because I wasn't really painted, but I think this was the video where it was before CGI. CGI? CGI is like special effects, so they oh. actually had to paint a big red spot. If it wasn't that video, it's one coming up. But anyway, there's a video we're playing tonight, and I thought that was amazing. But anyway. What's really amazing to me what? is that when these videos came out in 1981, 82, 83, 84, there was no internet. No. So nobody really knew anything at all about the videos. And now here we are 25, 28, almost 30 years later, uh, next year 30 years, and you can just go to the internet and find out everything you ever and we'll wanted do that. to know. We'll do that for you. We'll save yeah. you time to well, do you that. Well, you guys can go and do it, too. <laughs> we'll but save them time. Juliana spent all last week just looking up videos that we were going to play. And we want to thank Cool, cool TV. Um, we are the new network affiliate. In addition to being the new MGM Movie Studios affiliate with this TV where you can watch uh, movies from mm -hmm. the MGM library and also Orion and Polygram. And, and our channel is going to bring back... 24 hours a day of music videos on one of our sub-channels, digital sub-channels, uh, going back to the days that you have one video after the the other, you can't do that anymore. I mean, there's no cable channel. So we're going to give you we're going to give you a preview videos. here on yeah, Saturday nights. Saturday nights, and and we love the old videos from the '80s. We call them classic. Videos. And you know what, Gary? After a couple of months of this, we could switch to another generation. Right. Cool music is is all all the gener is the well, '90s well, and know, the what, '50s and the '70s. Well, you have Facebook for our for. Oh, our, absolutely. Okay, so we have Facebook. It's actually my, mine. It's your Facebook? It's, uh, yeah, Juliana. I don't have Facebook. Juliana Cacola. So you can go to Juliana Cacola on Facebook. We'll do that next week. I'll get it all set up for our show. So that way we, you can talk to us and interact with us during the show. For now, it's probably easiest for the viewers to go to our website, which is kyndtv.com. We have a feedback form. So Dave, can you put that up on the, uh, do you have the our website there? Uh, or is it Dave's time? our engineer. He helps us. Engineer Dave. There it is. KYMBTV. And... Uh, why don't you tell them what YMB stands for, Jules? Okay. Well, when we were um, acquiring the license, um, actually it used to belong to Trinity Broadcasting, and this was several years ago. It was a religious channel, and they wanted to sell the license, so we came into the market, and Gary was able to purchase it. 
we needed new call letters, and I really wanted to do KMBY because Gary was a disc jockey on Cannery Row many moons ago. Right. And um, but it wasn't available at the time. Since then, it's available, and we have those call letters for something else. But so as a as a spin on the KMBY, we did KYMB, which is your Monterey Bay TV dot com. That's what your Monterey Bay TV. That's it's your channel. And we're going to uh, do high school football game of the week. Uh, that's something we've done for seven years in Fresno, and now that we live here, we're looking forward to featuring the high school footballs next uh, fall. Right. High football teams and football's big. The around media here. center over at uh, Salinas is going to help us. Hamish Tyler putting together the crew so we can do high school football in the fall coming up in September. And if you have an event that you'd like us to maybe mention on the show, feel free to email it to us. Um, if you would like to be a sponsor, if you have a business and you'd like to talk about your business, we absolutely have Sponsor of the Hour, and we want to thank the sponsors tonight that we've had. And um, you can I, Name the sponsors. Okay, well, we have uh, me and Ed's Pizza, the frostiest mugs that you can order beer in, beautiful interior. It's a brand new. They're 58 years in the business in the San Joaquin Valley, and they're here now. And that uh, is 899-0101, free delivery, $10 special. It's never heard of in Mina's, but they're and doing that right toppings. now. three toppings. And open till 11. So, so you have plenty of time. It's at, only 20 uh, to 10 right now. Yeah, there's time. Seaside in, um, on Fremont and Broadway, but they'll deliver even to Carmel. So if you're watching us anywhere, just give them a call. Tell them you saw uh, the TV special. And then we have uh, Doug Lumsden from Monterey Movie Tours, and he's doing a special uh, show for us. It's called Monterey Movie Moments, and we're going to, in, a, in about a half hour, we'll go ahead and play you a feature of that mm -hmm. where Doug's going to take and, uh, us on location and do about three, four, five minutes. And he's, he's gotten uh, four, four episodes done now. So we'll preview one of those tonight. You'll see that on our on our network. And of course, Teeny Shake. And Teeny Shake, absolutely. And Thank you, Teeny. Teeny Thank is. Thank you, Doug. Thank you, me and Ed. <laughs> Latitudes and Isabella's. Latitudes is at Lovers Point, and Isabella's is at Fisherman's Wharf. And be sure you mention to the staff there you'd like the calamari appetizer special. It's free. Um, so we could. Uh, oh, oh coastal, coastal. There's Coastal Cuisine. There's his website. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> CoastalCuisine.com. That's if you'd like more information. And then just let them know you saw the show and they'll give you your appetizer special. I, may I talk about an event? I know I'm just You're just rambling, rambling on. on and on and on. I'll You're, take a breath, you, you but, know, but don't I, let me forget. I think forget. you've been watching Kelly too much. <laughs> well, you watch The View. Okay, Gary is a, a View watcher. I'm in the morning listening She's to all those. rambling and rambling and rambling. Well, you like the view. I thought maybe you'd like that. <laughs> I'm going to start talking on top of you. When <laughs> you're talking, like I'm going to start talking. Okay. <laughs> well, actually, just remind me to tell the viewers about the Hearts for Haiti. Event. Hearts for Haiti, we'll do that after the next video. Okay, well, don't it? let me forget, though. Okay, I won't it's really let you forget. It's something that hearts just for came Haiti. out. Okay. We'll do that next. They're probably going to have to have Hearts for, uh, for Santiago next, the I guess. Chil huh? Chile? For Chile, yeah. 8.8. .8. And the reporter said... It knocked him out of bed. He was asleep, and it was so uh, amazing. But anyway, but this and isn't the. But we're not the news. You Gary. know, actually, my we're nephew the, Kevin was what? down at the beach today, and he said that the waves were humongous. Well, so Ventura, maybe, California, was supposed to have gotten maybe, some. Maybe we big, got a little bit of the tsunami. They, they yeah. Absolutely, we had a difference. And hi, you want to say hi to your nephew at home? Hi to Kevin and Natalie and Ashley. And, and mom, and your mom's mom watching. And, uh, everybody at uh, Armin and Marlene. <laughs> hi, everyone. So From uh, Monterey hey, on who, tonight. Who's the lady that pulls, is it Carol Burnett, pulls her ear? Pulls her ear, yeah. Uh, and what's Celine Dion do? I can't remember. Uh, she does something. I don't I know, it touches it her nose or something? something anyway. oh, oh, yeah, this. So you, yeah. Need a, you need a little code for your mom. I really, I, I have to do that. Okay. Uh, maybe if I, maybe do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, next video is? Well, my list shows it's Duran Duran's sixth single that he released. It's called Save a Prayer. It was released in 1982, and it was uh, real popular in uh, MTV. And you know what's interesting is that when they released the live version of this video, um, Marvin Gaye had just died, and uh, Simon Laban of Duran Duran, who's the lead singer, dedicated uh, that to Marvin Gaye. It was about Great. the same time period. So anyway. and don't uh, don't go away because we have Gary Hamada coming up, our four locals only host on our TV uh, shows on Coastal He's TV. Gary's here tonight. Going to talk to Gary and uh, maybe he'll uh, give us uh, some background on what's going on at KRML Radio. I don't, you know. We'll see. I heard I heard there. Uh, Let's get him in. We got to go look for yeah, him. Yeah, we go find Gary. I heard that the KRML may have a new buyer. 
So we'll, we'll see. see what happens. We'll see. Anyway, okay, okay here we go. Uh, Duran Duran. Duran and, uh, well, it was, it was Duran Duran. That was Duran Duran. No, that, the right before that. And then yeah. this one here was In Excess, the one thing. It was the in first excess. single from their album in 1983. I love that. So. And uh, sitting on your right is none other than Gary Hamada. Gary, welcome to welcome, our premiere yeah. show. Well, thank you for welcoming me, Gary. And, uh, live, live TV. Oh, and um, this is uh, the uh, inaugural Oh my goodness! Oh, <laughs> oh, how, how, There's wow. something in it to christen the ship, but uh, oh, okay. I don't well, think we better can do we it. Right. Can we I think we'll guess? drink it instead of breaking the bottle. Okay, well, <laughs> let's let's wait till later. This yeah. is fun. I like presents. Okay. Oh, okay. The main voyage. Oh, the main voyage. Oh, thank oh you my goodness. So much. It's, 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 uh, it's champagne. Champagne. Thank you. And you bring my thank favorite you. type of uh, venue back to the air, which is uh, <laughs> live. Whether it be live, live radio, TV live TV, live well, music. Well, Gary, you you did live radio many years on KRML mm -hmm. over that's in Carmel. That's when we met Gary. No that's seven second delay button. That that's frightening. Uh, well, yeah. and you put people live on the air, and right. that's brave. And uh, you did that for what seven eight years yeah. at KRML. Yeah, I did all the interviews for the uh, the uh, guests that were coming into town. We used to, I did all the bookings for uh, the artists, the jazz artists. I used to play at the old jazz and blues company for years. Uh, Dinah Crawl came in the fir first time she ever played in Monterey really? before her first Monterey Jazz Festival. Wow. 300 people outside the venue, 90 people stacked into the uh, the old jazz and blues company. Oh my goodness! And this was just before she made it big. And of course, Mr. Clint Eastwood sitting in the audience. Yeah. Great. And after that, it's history. Well, Diana Crawl is one of my favorite artists. I wonder if she's ever going to come she back to the She must be about ninety percent of the audio, uh, jazz audience oh, because she, uh, she I think she has ninety percent of the CD sales right yeah, now. She <laughs> does. <laughs> she, she really does. But Gary, you did that show seven eight years, KRML four locals only. In fact, Doug was on from time to time with you yeah. as a co-host. Who are some of the people you did? Uh, Doug was my co-host Mondays and Wednesdays. Okay. Uh, Mayor Sue McLeod would not. She was very disappointed when Doug was not there to uh, <laughs> to co-host the show with me. They had a little bit of a banter going, and uh, I think they had a little bit inside jokes going. And, uh, oh well, great! And, and, yeah. and Doug threatened that he would put her on the on his Monterey movie tours, her home. If and it, if and you were at, <laughs> K, at the time KRML Doug's was Doug's laughing by yes, the way. Yes, no yes. one can see that, but Doug's laughing off the. KRML center. was in the uh, Eastwood building, and you yeah. looked out of your window down into the Hog's Breath uh, patio, right? Uh, yeah, I can tell you some of the things that I saw. and uh, at, Well, I mean, it's not like it can was... Can you say it on the air? Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, but there was so many celebrities that go to the Hog's Breath in the courtyard. Our window overlooked the Hog's Breath uh -huh. Inn, which is so famous from Clint Eastwood's... Uh, many years uh, that he owned, owned the, the restaurant. Well, people now. still go there looking for people him. People still go to it. They do. But it, you would see in the courtyard out the window people like Bill Murray sitting there. Didn't he like waving? Oh, he waved and he said, like this, you know. You want and me? I, I, I thought He's to myself, so funny. And all I could think about is if, if I let him up in the studio, I'll, you, never, you'll lose your show. I'll never get the mic back again. <laughs> yeah, that's and true. And there's a seven second, no seven second delay <laughs> button. I'm, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah. And well, you had uh, some, some other gal that well, was down there. I'll tell you what. Uh, most of these actresses that you see, they look far prettier in person than they do on screen. I mean, I hate to say it. Really? But Paris Hilton, uh, Jessica Simpson, both, you know, out there. At, at the Hogs Were they buddies? No, no, they, they no, separate, separate times. Separate oh, separate times. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, and, and get a little I only bring their names <laughs> up because, uh, you know, they get a bad rap a lot of times. But they were both very, very nice, professional. Uh, Paris uh, came up to the, boot, uh, to the uh, booth. Uh, and she said, "Can I come on?" And I said, "You know what? I'm a, I got a full schedule today." <laughs> she had a little dog with Did her. Did she have her dog? Yeah. Aww. And she was so polite and a lot prettier in person than. In, in Did you, you put her, her on? on? No, no, no. no. I, 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 I just. Was he afraid. said he had a full schedule I had no, that day. I, 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 I did have a full. I did have a full schedule, but seven seconds. I'm just thinking, gosh, all she had to do is say something that she says on her television mm. show, and I'm, you know, you're off the I'm, air. I'm in trouble. You're off the <laughs> okay. air. Okay. Well, true. you're safe here with us. But she yeah. was just you know, a doll. Where's the worst thing? Well, yeah. yeah. And Jessica can... Simpson also, both very nice. And those are just some of the people we had, of course. Were, and then uh, Val Ramsey, you interviewed Val, Val Ramsey. Yeah. Well, you know, Val, Val Ramsey, uh, not only the public relations director for Pebble Beach for so many years. But also the uh, the uh, became a star, uh, international model, uh, cover girl, uh, and she's been she's on. Beautiful. She was on the air mm -hmm. many many times with me. Over seventy years old now. Can you bring her sometime? Like oh, that? absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I yeah. would love it. She wrote gracefully a book. Book, and uh, yeah. And, yeah, and, and uh, Elaine, uh, uh, I can't remember uh, the, the uh, soap opera star. I have her book right there. I'll go get uh, it. Is the uh, is the uh, 
the one that wrote the liner yeah. notes, but but uh, uh, oh, Susan L Susan Lucci Lucci. That's Susan it. Lucci. She, uh, so many times nominated for, for Emmys, but never didn't win yes. until the last one year. Yeah. And then, uh, uh, but but Val Ramsey, uh, all of her, you know, six feet tall, beautiful. She was a public relations manager for Pebble Beach, and she was on a, a film shoot one day for some people, and they said, "Why don't you become one of our models?" And she thought, "Oh, this is an old producer line, you know, and all that." No, lo and behold. A few months later, that she actually did happen. And you know, happen. one of the things I love about Val is she's not only beautiful on the outside, but beautiful on the inside. And she's when she lady. wrote the book Gracefully for people uh, around her uh, place in life and her age uh, to inspire them, but yeah. I, I told her I enjoyed it because I want to aspire to be to be that kind Grandmother of polished lady. Grandmother of eight now. I think eight, oh my maybe goodness. nine. Who knows? I know. Eight at the time I, didn't, I last saw her a year and, ago. And she was on the Today Show. She was on national television. Yeah. Well, here's and the Fox thing. News if you too. want our show for locals only... We broke a lot of um, uh, information out there that people would not hear or right. see anywhere else. Well, you can see, you would hear it, but you wouldn't uh, anywhere else. Val Ramsey, for example, for so many years, came on my show on a regular basis. She called from L.A., from different places, and she would give us all the information that what she was doing. And much like you hear now with a Twitter, you know, but we're getting a live radio thing. You know, when, when we first met Gary, uh, and he was doing the Four Locals Only show, we talked him into... Coming on television with the Four Locals Only show on TV, and now Gary is doing a show on the Coastal Television Network for six, us. Six markets, over five million TV households. And tonight at midnight, right after our show here on Comcast Cable 19. We have it scheduled. We have it scheduled. It's our first time we're doing the switch, everyone. So yes, it's the first time <laughs> we're going to switch from live. live to the Coastal Network on Channel and 19. And then uh, MGM ne Movie Network will be back in the morning. So. And then the MGM Movie Network will be back in the morning. But so, you're going to you know be on I right know, after and us And I know tonight. which one I scheduled. So which we, one did you schedule? Well, actually, can we go to view the video and we come back? I can tell everybody. Oh, yeah, you don't know. Huh? I do know. Oh, you do I'll know. I'll prove oh, you're, it. Is this, is this like a tease for the people? Yes, that what it is. I know what it is. Okay. Yeah. Well, I can tell you just Did you tell Gary? No. Oh, okay. what I would like to say real quick before, yeah. we, go, before is we, that, we keep arguing is that our, our our slogan for our show for local zone location is your backstage pass to the Central Coast. So Isn't that a great line? Your backstage so pass. All of us want to go backstage. Yeah. Sometimes I'll give you a little bit of a peek. Sometimes mm -hmm. you'll get a full view of the backstage. Yeah. But whatever it is, you're going to find out things that you and never his, found before. And, and, and the locals have enjoyed this show for so long. And not only the locals, no, but the, the tell them what happened to the fellow from Bakersfield who well, saw him in the supermarket. Well, Fresno. It was Safeway. No, it was, no, it was, was, it, was it no, Fresno or Bakersfield? Doug had the guy from Bakersfield oh, on his guy. bus. Gary had the guy from Fresno, Fresno. at Safeway, yeah, right? Yeah, see that? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. So you had someone from Safeway. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can't go out and pick, you know, get produce anymore to stay at, a, at a supermarket without someone He's like, Gary, me. I know you're from Fresno. And Gary's like, I'm not from Fresno. Yeah, would you sign my zucchini for me? <laughs> 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 but uh, it doesn't happen too often. There's the uh, uh, website for your show. Yeah. Uh, for for localsonly.com, you can go to uh, Gary's website. And your sister, Cynthia Hamada, is your Oh, producer. yeah. Let me also yeah. say uh, this. Back at the radio station, uh, uh, we, uh, Catherine Nagel, who now works with uh, the She's Central our Coastal producer Television here Network, now on uh, uh, CTN. Uh, was my executive producer yes. for many years. And we got we launched uh, For Locals Only, on uh, TV. the radio show, and then the TV. And I want to thank her for all the years that she put in with me. And uh, and uh, you know, very little money, <laughs> a lot of a lot of time, but a lot of fun. But a lot of fun. A lot yeah, of fun. Yeah, yeah, she got a lot of backstage passes, as we say. So yeah. uh, I want to thank her for that. Now my sister Cynthia Hamada is uh, taking over the show. And, and, and uh, you've got a, a new logo, and yeah, uh, it looks yeah. great. I'm going to bring this graphic artist on to their logo. She's from Russia. See? Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Well, well, stick around for a minute. We're going to have you. another video and uh, and come back and uh, talk some more about for locals only and maybe KRML. We're, we're teasing tonight because uh, there is a rumor out there that uh, there's going to be some well, new Well, can I tell their real story? Gary called the broker that has the radio station, Camo Radio, and he said there's already some kind of handshake deal, so Gary couldn't put in a I couldn't put, put in, in an bit. offer because yeah. you had TV stations you wanted to, you know, he had some clever idea to... to well, there's a real link for the KRML to put this over in the oh, movie Play the Misty Play for Oh, the Play Misty for me, me yeah. in movie? Absolutely. Yeah. In fact, in fact uh, I'll tell you a story sometime well, in the next well, segment. Well, actually, s s do it in the next segment. Yeah. What's the next video? Um, It's supposed to be, I'm always saying that because case it's September. It's supposed to be in uh, case it's, it's not. It's called Fascination, Keep Feeling Fascination. You might not recognize the title, but you will the song once you hear it. 
It was by Human League from 1980. Human oh, League. 1983. Yes. Okay, I goofed. The last segment I thought burning down the house had the red dot. It's this video. Oh, this so is when the you best. see the red dot in the video, they actually had to paint the car, the whole area, because there wasn't special effects back in the day. That's right. So and then afterwards they demolished the whole thing. So anyway, they did. Okay, so trivia. Dave, uh, let's roll uh, the next video, and we'll be right back with. You. When you have the one that means so much in your life, treat them well. This is for today and the good days to come. Latitudes at Lover's Point, a teeny shake signature restaurant. And we're back with uh, the Monterey on Tonight show. This is our premier show, the first one hopefully a very uh, many to come. And uh, it's here every Saturday night from 8 to midnight, live from the studios of KYMB. Tonight, our guest sitting to Juliana's right, to Jules' right, is Gary Hamada, uh, formerly of the radio show for Locals Only, now the television show for Locals Only. And you know, while we were into the video, Gary, you were talking about some of the other interesting and exciting things that have happened to you over the years oh. uh, with your interviews. <laughs> and uh, why don't you share some of those with, uh, with the folks well, in our TV First of all, audience. Maggie Eastwood is watching right now. Oh, and, hi, Maggie. Uh, she's sort of like the silent partner of um, Clint Eastwood. Everybody uh -huh. wants to know, well, where's Clint Eastwood? You know, he's, he's, they want to know that before they want to know where the mission is. <laughs> You're right. Anything else. So is he still the mayor yeah. of Carmel? Yes, he's still, the, exactly. <laughs> he, he, the, the, the Chamber of Commerce went to China and everybody there was asking about the mayor of the Carmel, mayor, Clint yeah, Eastwood. Clint you know. Eastwood yeah. It's probably why the crime rate is so low, is because they're afraid of you know, oh, the sheriff in Dirty town. Harry's yeah. in it around. <laughs> well, well, to tell you a story, okay, and I think Maggie would, wouldn't mind if I tell the story, because she did tell it on the air, is uh, this is some of the things you'll get on, on, our, on our show, is that uh, uh, Mag I, I was interviewing Maggie, and I said, well, you know, all the years you were married to, and they were married over 20 years, uh, Clint uh, looks to me more like the, the, the person that he played on uh, Bridges of Madison County, because uh -huh. that's how I know him. Mm -hmm. and, and she says, oh no, oh no, there's a Dirty Harry side to him. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, you know, I, I, I don't want to see that side of him. Oh, yeah, but really. But, but uh, did you know, um, Sarah Nicole was on earlier in the show and she was highlighting some of the movies coming on this week and Thunderbolt, is it Thunderbolt and Light, Lightning Harry, yeah. Lightfoot? Mm -hmm. It's on Wednesday. Right here on our channel. Right here on Thunderbolt KYMB. and Lightfoot. Clint Eastwood and George Kennedy from 1974. Mm. And that's on at 5 o'clock on Wednesday, right here on Comcast Ch Channel 19. Yeah. 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 Also, the movie Play Misty for me uh, is the only movie uh, ever filmed entirely on the Monterey Peninsula. The whole uh, movie. And, and it's also uh, Clint Eastwood's, you know, he's such a famous director now. But that was his first movie he ever directed. First, first I, play you know what, when debut. I saw that. We, I saw what about three or four years ago for, for the, the first, first time. time uh -huh. I was scared. That was yeah. a scared. That by was the a way, pretty big color. I can't claim knowledge of that. That is something that I learned from Mr. Doug Lumsden from Monterey uh, Movie Tours. Yes. So go on tour and this yes. <laughs> In fact, that's one of our Monterey movie moments right here on mm -hmm. uh, the Coastal Television Network. There's one site there. Everybody wants to see the different sites. You know that. Uh, oh, I'll tell you two stories about the Play Misty. From one was uh, because I worked at KRML for many years uh, as a DJ. Uh, a lot of people would come up and say, "Gosh, you know, you drive a Jaguar, you do, you know, you, you have a beautiful home on the uh, right off the the, the beach, and uh, you must, you guys make a lot of money at KRML." That's <laughs> <laughs> just jockeys. What's what Dave Garber look <laughs> did? I mean, at least Clint Eastwood raised the standards for, for uh, disc jockeys. Disc jockeys yes, KRML he did. For years. It's a great, great movie, and I think that kind of put the Monterey Peninsula on the map. And didn't Sardine it? Factory too. And Sardine Factory. It absolutely Factory. did. And you talk about music videos. I talk about Clint Eastwood being a visionary in a lot of ways, way before his time. If you look at the movie Play, Mis Play Misty for me, you will see the first music video, Roberta Flack, yep. Killing Me Softly. Beautiful song. It's all. It's there in the movie Play Misty for Beautiful me. Beautiful song. Yeah. Well, you know, you can go to um, to Netflix or to Blockbuster and and rent that video. And if there's folks out there that haven't seen Play Misty for me, you really should see it, especially if you live here on the Monterey Peninsula. I heard it was the model for the uh, the movie Fatal Attraction. It was. Yeah. You yeah. know, going Lots back to uh, Maggie, um, one of the first video segments that we did with Gary, if you'll remember, <laughs> was yeah. uh, uh, Alice and Eastwood's directorial debut. 
of her movie. And Rails and Ties. Rails, Rails and Ties, Ties with Kevin Bacon and Marsha Gay Harden. And I can't remember the young lad's name that really stole the show. I think his first name was the same as my brother's name, Miles. Yep. But uh, uh, if you haven't seen the movie Rails and Ties, go and rent it. It's on DVD. You will see, definitely see an a-, a director uh, who is Allison Eastwood. It's an Allison Eastwood directed movie. She has definitely got her father's. Yeah, she uh, was. Uh, yeah. She she did a great we job. That, that was uh, a great interview. It you was. Did with her too. It, it was great. We'll have to. I've got to get you a copy so you can give it to them of the interview. Yes. Yes. And it was so cute with his mother and daughter. Yes. And it was the just one of the first. I mean, Allison told me it's one of the first times they've ever been on camera together. I've got to get. You, will you call me Monday? Yeah, and I'll, I'll get. I'll burn a copy. Get you so a give copy it to of, them that. of that. And we'll air it. Maybe they will air the interview now and then on here on the on the network. Yeah, we 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 can. We can put it on the show as well. What's next? Well, before we go to the video, there was an event coming up that I remember you were supposed to remind oh, me. Oh, yes. I remind you to remind me. Yes, Hearts yes. for Haiti. It was just Dave. I can hear you. <laughs> I got my, sorry. <laughs> I was trying to hear my mic. Okay. Live TV, folks. Yeah. Hearts, now I can get my thoughts together. Hearts for Haiti airs Mar- uh, March 13th. It's actually a live show. Have you heard about this yet? Yes. Do you know Nick Williams? Yes. Nix Williams of uh, Williams Music. He's putting or part of the big part of the production. Multi instrumentalist. Yes. yes. Um, and it's uh, March 13th at 6:30 at Embassy Suites. And if anybody would like tickets, they can be purchased at the Red Cross, or you can call Nick Williams um, over at Nick Williams Music Studio. And it's uh, 20 and 25 dollars at the door, or you can pay in advance for $15. And when and is this happening? March 13th. It's a Saturday March night, 13th. so what you got, you know. It's Maybe, um, let's see, we have a show before next week, uh, before the 13th, so maybe we can have someone come on and talk yeah. about it. Yeah, and there, there was like, week. did you hear all the acts? I've got, I don't have the list in front of me, but there was like a lot of music acts, and they've got like four comedians that are going to be From, there. You won't be able to watch, you know what you'll have to do? You have to DVR our show yeah, if you go then, to it so you don't miss that. our show. So. Right. Because anyway. we're going to have some exciting things going on here on Saturday nights, folks. We don't want you to miss us. In fact, uh, hopefully uh, you'll become a cult following of our show. And if you like, Saturday if you like night. our music videos, um, I well, I'll save this for later. But uh, there's a, a a place you can go and hear it midweek. But I'm going to save that for next hour. I'll that's, let you know that that's 80s. a tease. That's okay. a tease. Yes. All right. And um, and be sure. And uh, we want to thank Isabella's and Latitude's Teeny Shake for sponsoring and me and Ed's tonight show. We and want to thank me and Ed's, Ed's and the Monterey Movie Tours. And Monterey Movie thank Tours. You, Doug. Doug, Doug Lumsden. And we're actually going to have someone else on the show here in the last hour uh, that's going to help you and he's a sponsor of tonight's show and uh, Greg's going to tell you if you happen to, to get a ticket he's going to help you with that ticket Yep. with, with a business uh, uh, ticket kick help me Ticket, kick, ticket. Well, it's ticketbus.com now, but he'll tell us more. He's, okay. he's got a new website. So so. Stay tuned. If you guys happen to have gotten a, a, a moving violation in the last uh, 30 days, or have one coming up, <laughs> <laughs> or if you get one, uh, you're gonna you're gonna want. I don't get tickets. Do you get tickets? Uh, I haven't had one. <laughs> haven't had one in a long time. And hopefully, with uh, with Greg, we won't be uh, having to worry we're, about no. that anymore. But he's gonna be our sponsor for the last hour tonight on the show, and he's gonna be here as our guest to tell you more about it. So stay tuned for that. Um, it, we uh, will come back uh, one more segment with Gary because okay. oh. he's he's just full of wonderful things. Okay, so I'm stick bursting around? at bursting at the seams here with you information. Will you uh, stick around? Stick I around. S- I will. Okay. okay. Let's Thanks. let's go to uh, back to the music here and uh, what do we have coming up next, Jules? Okay. Well, you know how much fun we're having tonight. Yeah. Okay. So this song's really appropriate. It's okay. Everybody Have Fun Tonight by Wang Chung. Oh yeah. 1986. Everybody and the only re- it was number two. The only reason it didn't go to number one was because of the Walk Like an Egyptian song which that was a great and song that's too. in our library too yeah that's okay. in our library so too. let's go to everybody uh, wang chung everybody have fun tonight everybody oh. yeah there we are with spandau ballet and uh, true uh, you know what uh, uh, as we were listening to the music here tonight i don't think there's any place that you can go today to listen to this kind of music on from the 80s on tv yeah. well we know that but how about radio is there a radio station in this market yeah. that plays you can, you can music actually, from the You can 80s? go to Jose's Underground on Wednesday nights from 8 to 10 p.m. And DJ, I've got his name they in my play, notes. They, they play, play music the, yeah, from yeah, the 80s? Yeah, 80s. Yep. 
if you're you a dollar. music of the 80s fan, I'll bet there's a lot of people out there tonight that haven't seen these videos since MTV days 1981, 2, 3, 4, 5. I like the 70s myself. You, you did. Well, you know what? We, we're after <laughs> you know, the sad <laughs> thing is, though, they didn't make any music videos in this. <laughs> That's exactly it. Well, and there was Solid Gold, and there was Midnight Special. Um, yeah. Midnight, midnight Special midnight was special, a big deal. But that was more live on stage yeah. than it was music videos. These uh, They just had live performances. Live performances. Yeah. 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 For example, people were asking about, you know, the uh, they have the Janis Joplin Monterey Pop uh, video. Right. Well, there's no video cameras back then. That's you know. right. It was so all film. Yeah, but that was uh, not the first show she did. The first show she did, no one knew who she was. Janice she knocked Joplin. out the audience at the Monterey Pops, and yeah. then they said, hey, we need to do a second show, Janice. You Come would probably <laughs> have the answer to this question, Gary. Why was there only one Monterey Pop? Um, the city of Monterey didn't really <laughs> enjoy it too much. <laughs> Uh, in those days, you would say uh, there was a bunch of hippies descended on Monterey. <laughs> so. And so they went to Woodstock. Well, now you've got the Reggae yeah. Fest, you got Dixieland, you got the Blue. I mean, now there's such a variety. Can you name all of the events that, that are here on the Monterey Peninsula? Uh, pretty Music much. Music wise, pretty, I mean, pretty the, close. Well, the yeah, Jazz I mean, Festival. The Monterey Jazz Festival, which is the granddaddy yeah. uh, of all jazz festivals now. And then uh, uh, the Monterey Bay Blues Festival, which uh, I, I covered this year. And uh, also the uh, the Dixieland, they've changed the name now. I can't, I don't even know the name, Swing Fest or something like that. But it used to be called Dixieland. Monterey. And then is there a reg reggae, uh, a reggae festival, um, uh, a pop festival? They, uh, they they do have a lot of music. And then you've got, you've been involved in the blues. Mon I did the MCing this year on one of the stages for the Monterey Bay Blues Festival. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so there's a lot of music events here on and the Monterey Peninsula. And I'm Peninsula also, uh, uh, this last year, B.B. Uh, King performed uh, as a headliner for the Monterey Bay Blues Festival, and I know B.B. going way back to the Bill Can Grand Can you bring days. him on here sometime? <laughs> yeah, let's have yeah, him on as a guest. Why not? Uh, <laughs> right. now I'll, how just, how I'll just call him and say, okay. Well, can we yeah. could do, you know what, we figured out how to use our speaker yeah. phone, so okay, we sure. can put him on, on the we phone. We can put him on the air yeah. if we can't get him live. What's going on down at the Gold? Golden State. Are they still having music events? Warren Dewey's uh, uh, theater. Uh, we were there at the, when he first started uh, reconstruction or remodeling and the whole mm -hmm. bit. He it very much liked the Paramount Theater. Right. He's done a beautiful job. I wouldn't have given him a plug nickel when he first started to, to finish to that job because he did not only the main floor, but he also did the balcony. Yeah. And he's did a marvelous job. He really knows not only the business, but look at the acts he's brought in. Really? Bill Cosby, uh, now, uh, now is that brother. still happening? It's yeah. still happening. Good, yeah. good. In That's fact, it great. was for sale at one time, I think, and then Warren uh, just decided to keep it. And then the Sunset Center has music events uh, as well? Executive Director uh, Peter Lesnick. Uh, before that, Jack Glomenfeld, who Jack and I go back a long ways to the Bill Graham days. And Bill I know Graham Jack. Days, yeah, uh, yeah. When uh, Bill did all, uh, uh, Jack did the, the uh, head of the theater in Fresno. That's right. Uh, yeah, and uh, Jack and I know each other from way back then. Way back and uh, he, he's brought on, uh, brought Kathy Griffin and some of the top acts to the uh, to the yeah. sunset. The sunset. Yeah. Really, before they were well known. Before they were well known, he put the wow. sunset back on the map, and then we uh, now have Peter Lesnick. He's running it. But the real person that that I think is the the jewel, the jewel, jewel. <laughs> like jewels, the jewel of the uh, well, just like here, of yeah, the of, the, of the sunset center is Michelle Edmondson. She's well, we'd manager. like to have them on as guests yeah. on Can our show. Br yeah, bring them with you. And yeah, bring them absolutely. With you set yeah. them up. They, yeah. I, fortunately, I'm on good terms with them. <laughs> Gary's <laughs> always going to bring someone new. Yeah. yeah we, well, you know, we're going to be looking for our guests for next Allison, Saturday night. Uh, Allison Eastwood and uh, Kyle, if you're watching this show right now tonight, I think Maggie is, but uh, you're welcome to come on the show. We'd love next, to have them on. Yeah. We'd, uh, we'd by the way, Kyle and and uh, was on the show with me several times. Kyle is not only a, a, a local. Mm -hmm. he grew is up he in Hawaii? No, no, he no. lives in Paris most of the time. Oh, he lives oh, in Paris. But Paris. here's the thing: you got to wow. know about Kyle is that uh, he he writes he does all the music scoring for uh, his dad now, yes. Ian Michael Stevens. Great, and, great yeah, scores. And uh, actually, if you were watching my listening to my show for locals only on KRML Radio, you would have heard all that before it even was published, that it even came on wow. there. And I'm one of those guys who will watch the uh, credits at the end of a movie. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I mean, we, we, did too. we stay right till the I very I end. Until the lights kind of come a on. Weird kid, you know, because I'd sit in the theater and watch the credits at the end. <laughs> and uh, those of you that missed uh, Bridges of Madison County, the credits as they rolled at uh -huh. the end of the show, you missed the best part of the whole movie. Yep. Because this, not only the, the, the singing, but also the... the you, e e you know what amazes me? <laughs> When I watch the credits to movies, how many people it takes to make oh. a movie! I My 
goodness. Well, look at the people I just tasted put this show on tonight. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, and, and they're all getting paid such fabulous amounts of money, too, <laughs> to be here in the studio. Well, it's the first, uh, first one of its kind uh, here on the Central Coast. It's been it uh, something that's been really neat. I'm a real proponent of live music. Uh, if you listen to all the jazz, the great jazz albums, they're all all recorded live. Courtney Lemon has been, boy, she's been, she's been where? Hong Kong? Everywhere. I read her, yeah. I read her Facebook. She's in Hong Kong. She's in Hong Kong. Yeah, and yeah. she's uh, uh, just going going terrific over there. Uh, she's not really, I would say, not really been discovered yet. She needs to be discovered. Yeah. A real talent. Yeah. But uh, we all know, and I will put this out there because I, I can't hold it back. I, I, I get, I start getting ill here. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, the, what it is is um, we all know that talent is not the criteria for success. In opportunity. Music. Right. It's opportunity. <laughs> opportunity. Opportunity. And I've, as I've always said, it's knowing the right people. Mm. So yeah. hopefully we uh, know a few that uh, can help us stay on the air here in, <laughs> in Monterey with our Monterey on Tonight show. Uh, Doug Lumsden and uh, Tinny Shake and... Uh, Akram, uh, and, Akram and, Inez, and Inez and Jose's. And one thing you will find is this is a great community. Uh, it is uh, people like Tini Shake. Uh, I've known the Shake family for years. They came over here with very little of anything. They, they, you know, they, they have a terrific uh, restaurants here. The, the whole Absolutely. family's uh, Tini, great people. Tini is a, you know the baby of the family, right? So yeah, I mean, that's why he got that yeah. name. <laughs> but he's right? yeah, but you know he. I don't know. We'll have to ask him. He has done so much for the for you know for for, for cooking cuisine for the Central Coast. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Well, thank you, Gary. Thank you for being here tonight. Uh, we look forward to seeing. Gary, do we have uh, Gary Hamada's forlocalsonly.com website? We yeah, check us out for localsonly yeah. There it is uh, for yeah. localsonly.com. And then tonight, uh, after our show, we will be playing um, an episode, the video version of. For locals only on location, and your host of that segment was uh, Alan Richmond, who's currently in charge. In, isn't he head of the board of directors for the Monterey Chamber of Commerce? Yeah, yeah. he is the president. President, and, 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 and he's also uh, was on the board of directors board of for Blue the Monterey Blue. Bay Blues Festival. That's right. So That's he'll right. be on the, your show that mm -hmm. comes on after us tonight at yeah. midnight. Mm -hmm. And then uh, on Car the coastal and then TV. And Terry Tice, who is the president of the uh, the Innkeepers Association of Carmel, is also on the show. Oh, and, uh, she's a great and you lady. Know, we just met Carrie Tice because. Yeah. Because we were um, helping uh, somebody in the community put on a fundraiser for the Mwamba Foundation, which was the Fight for Five to help uh, raise money to build a school in the Congo. And Tini Sheikh, as a matter of fact, was uh, very instrumental in helping to provide a private dinner. And we have some photos we'll be getting up on our website. Yes. Uh, it was just a beautiful dinner. And Ta then, this uh, is a good and chance. Then, and then Carrie Tice uh, was the host for Chris Terrence, the on air personality. She hosted Chris Terrence over at that Hofstas Hof house? The Hofstas, H-O-F-S-A-S. -S. Hof this is a good time, though, to tell the folks who are out there, if they want to reach us, how to get us on the web. How do they get... KYMBTV.com is the simplest way. Okay. Can you tell them what y, uh, KYMB stands for? Yeah, yeah. your Monterey, Monterey Bay. Bay. Yeah, that's pretty that's catchy. <laughs> yeah, well, who, who thought of that? Uh, Julianne. Well, I, wanted, I was saying earlier, I want a KMBY. It was taken. Oh, that was Gary's so old uh, was my radio old station, station when I worked in the radio. So yeah. I switched the letters around. Yeah. Gary said, "Well, why don't you do a vanity one, K Jewel?" But I hope Don Hoffman. Oh, is I'm, glad, I'm glad you didn't. That's <laughs> not very good. I like KMB, KYMB. I hope Don Hoffman is out there watching tonight. Don, if you're out there, Don was the program director mm -hmm. at KMBY when I worked there many years ago, um, and uh, he's been a great uh, friend over the years and. Uh, we uh, we really want to thank him and uh, also Doc, who was the general manager at the old KMBY. They're both still around here on the Monterey Peninsula, and I hope they're watching tonight. Okay, oh, what's I, I, next? Well, I have a quick question. All right, quick question. Since we were talking about music, before we go, um, are you familiar with Mike Beck and the Bohemian Saints? Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah. Well, I just found out that they're playing Friday night, eight o'clock, at the Monterey County Fairgrounds. Uh, doors open at seven. Show starts at eight. Eight dollars in advance, or ten dollars at the door. So there's some live music. Live Next music. Friday I night. love live music. The fairgrounds. Anyway, okay. Great. There's lots of good music here on, on this, and there's a lot of people with talent, a lot of good stories. Uh, we'll be showcasing a lot of it on, on, your on show? my show for locals only on location, but also every Saturday night. Saturday here. night right, right here. here. Yeah. Good. Okay, Gary, thank you. Come Thanks back. for coming. Thank on. you we'll again, back Gary. Thank, thank you, Julia. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and tell, and, um, tell your sister Cynthia hello, and thank you for all her hard work. And, and again, thank you to Catherine Nagel for, uh, yes. for helping me out all those years. Thank you. Thank you.
Yeah, look what everybody. you did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's yeah. all it's your all fault, fault. Catherine. <laughs> and and uh, we'd like to uh, encourage the viewers too to perhaps next Saturday night you can consider having a KYMB uh, Monterey on tonight watch party. Invite your friends over. Pizza. Order, Get a pizza order from me and Ed's pizza. Yeah. Ask them for the ten dollar pizza $10 special. special. You're serving the great the greatest pizza, uh, and then take a photo. Or let us know in advance, and we'll put you on the phone. So this could be. And we'll put your picture on TV. I yeah. like that little thing they had in the middle of the pizza box, and you opened it up to keep the, you know, the, the, the lid from. Oh, and you do. Yeah. Yeah. From the, I mean, the little, smashing. Just yeah. the little things. Yeah. We have the computer here, so we're going to get it cranked up and working. So if you guys want to send us an email, uh, we'll we'll be able to email you back. And we can do it. It's actually faster now with Facebook. Facebook. We'll just put a we'll put a show one on. You just there you go. Facebook. See? Facebook, yeah, it's, it's Twitter, instant. MySpace. Check out Courtney Lemon's uh, Facebook, too, by the way. Do you have a Facebook? The gallery, yeah, I wish I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed you, 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 you said you focused on Sarah Nicole's. Uh, Dave stayed on her yeah. for a long time, yeah. but I noticed that he hadn't stayed on me that long. No, so. no. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Dave. One more shot. No, no one more <laughs> shot of Gary. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> kidding. Put Gary on. Let's <laughs> see. Kidding. Big, Where big did full, Dave go? full shot. Is Dave here? Dave disappeared. There's Gary. I'm just kidding. Oh. I'm not. You know the prettier I'm of the serious. three here, so <laughs> right there. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> All right, well, okay. thank you, Thanks Gary. A lot. Let's All get right. back to the videos. Uh, what is the next oh, music video? Oh, this is video? a fun one. Everyone what, what needs is, one of these. What is it? Do you remember the Go Go's? Yes. Oh yeah. Vacation. Oh yeah. 1982. 1982. <laughs> this is a fun music video. Do you want to do one or two videos this time? Let's do two. Okay, then right after that is My Sharona by the Knack. And oh, and I like that. that one too. You yeah. know what? My Sharona is a favorite of George W. Bush, our ex-president. And do you know what inspired the My Sharona song? No. The guy had a girlfriend named Sharona. He oh. was 25, she was 17. He was so in love with her. So he wrote all these songs for her. See that? You, you'd only know that here now on the Monterey. <laughs> he on said Tonight it was show. like getting a hit in the head with a baseball bat. Guy. Wow. I fell in love with her. Anyway. Well, oh. my Sharona. <laughs> That's what he said. Anyway, here I it mean, is. And how many of us know how it is just to get hit in the head with a baseball? Right. I don't know. Maybe he did. Let's go back to the videos. <laughs> he lived to tell about it. That's Howard Jones from 1989. And uh, if you just happen to be, uh, I understand now that folks don't flip through the channels anymore. Sarah Nicole told me that people go to the guide and they look to see what's on television. And only old folks flip through the channels. And the young folks go and read the guide. Well, if you read the guide tonight, it would say that you were going to be watching movies here <laughs> tonight because we haven't got the Monterey on tonight into the folks that tell the cable company what's going to be Next on. Next week we'll be doing Next it. Next week it should say Monterey on tonight from 8 o'clock till midnight. So if you just happen to be folks flipping through the channels, this is the Monterey on Tonight Show. We're at KYMB, Comcast Cable 19, here in Monterey and Channel 29 in Santa Cruz up until the end of March. And then we're going to be on Channel 19. They're moving our Santa Cruz channel from to 29 19, to, to 19, 19 so that we'll match the Monterey. So we'll be on Channel 19 everywhere. And uh, you wanted to tell everybody the video that we just saw. That was Everlasting Love by Howard Jones, and 1989. The, and the video before that was uh, My, Sharona. My Sharona, George W. Bush's favorite video, <laughs> from what I understand. <laughs> and before that? Vacation by the Go-Go's. The Go-Go's. I so love the Go-Go's. When Sarah Nicole was on earlier, she was mentioning some of the movies that were coming up this week on our MGM This TV network. Right. And uh, on Monday, we've got, I can't believe this, just amazes me, the stars. You can watch movie stars all day in these movies. Um, Lee Marvin, um, Roger Moore, Sean Connery, Richard Gere, Farrah Fawcett. They're all on, on Monday. On I Monday. mean, that's just one day. Um, we've also got Daryl Hannah this week, William Devane, Mickey Rooney, Frankie Avalon. Do you remember Beach Party? I remember Frankie Avalon. In fact, he came and had spaghetti dinner. That's right. We should bring that picture. <laughs> There's a picture in Gary's mom's album. And we did we get a copy Mom of that? cooked him spaghetti dinner back many years ago, um, and um, he a was a guest. What a story! I, I he was a photo. guest at our home in Fresno. Uh, and Why he, was he What in a town? great guy! Why he was he, he was appearing locally at uh, a venue uh, in Fresno in those days, and he was uh, kind enough to come over. Brought his wife. Wow. And uh, we had a wonderful, wonderful time. And, and I may have some old pictures that I can oh, you do. dig I've up. Seen, have I've you seen them? Yeah. Okay, well, we'll look for those, and uh, maybe we can uh, have uh, those photos on next week. 
It's, uh, it's when we talk about Frankie being on KYMB and the This TV movie pageant. That's on at 12.30 on, when? let's see, Thursday afternoon. Thursday afternoon, 12.30. Excellent. And, you know, we've got a critic out there, Juliana. I don't know whether you've noticed, but um, Mr. Toy. Mr. Oh. Toy. Do you know who Mr. Toy is? Yeah. Mr. He's Toy. He's in Carmel. Is he? Yeah. He's... He's a critic of ours. He um, actually it was constructive. Though. It was all constructive. And we we love yeah, the feedback. We, we do. We love feedback. He uh, wrote a little blurb, blurb on, uh, the on the internet to. Uh, it was when we first launched. Monterey we had, Herald. Uh, yeah. The, we had to rep we had to replace our equipment, our transmitter. We love critics uh, because they help uh, get, uh, get things better and. Uh, so, we so were bring it on. Yeah, we <laughs> Is were that having. What she's saying? <laughs> bring it on. We were having some problems with the encoding equipment that uh, makes and our we had picture another, digital. And then we had another viewer ask for closed captioning, which is something we're that we're on working that. on. We're absolutely working on that. Right yes, now. absolutely. But uh, Mr. Toy, if you're out there in TV land tonight and you happen to be watching, uh, Thank you. let us know. Uh, send us an email to our Facebook. Uh, no, we're not go on Facebook. Can it's go to our website. Oh well, then go to the website. Uh, www.kymbtv.com. Actually, anybody can email us. We love feedback. We love. If you have an event it, yeah. you'd like to promote or if you'd like to be a show sponsor, you can absolutely this show is sponsor. The only Music live to show, my ears. Lonely lo live show on TV I don't, in Monterey. I think for you're four in Monterey. Hours. About the only thing that's live is the news. And then also your town's live. That's your our town neighbors. is on. Yes, your town is live on radio and television. Yeah. And they're in the studios uh, here in our in our same building yep. that we're in. Jim Boston does a great job yes. with that. Absolutely. KNRY Radio, twelve forty. Yeah. And what's the handle that they say? KNRY, uh, cl not classic radio, but uh, we'll find it. No, I'll look no, it what's up. What's he say? I'll Google it. <laughs> 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 like I do everything else. But uh, it's really a great line about about you know being here for you many many what? years we, we on the Monterey call phone. Him. Did you know that KNRY used to be KMBY many years ago? It's the same location, right? And it was 1240 AM radio. Yeah. That's where I used to work yep. many years ago. So, anyway, um, you wanted to talk about something else. You well, I just want to remind everybody, uh, if you'd like information about Hearts for Haiti, pretty soon I guess we'll have to do a Hearts for Chile, but Hearts for Haiti right now is being planned for March 13th, Embassy Suites at 6 p.m. Give us, a, send us an email or contact Nick Williams Music. And then also the uh, Eastminster, uh, um, Susan at Eastminster uh, radio program is doing the first pet parade, and it's benefiting the an an animal welfare. And I've got the information here. Just e email us, and we'll let you know what's going on. And, uh, I'll, and if I'll you have an know. event uh, out there that you'd like to have us talk about, uh, let us know. Uh, you can call us at the station or go to the website. And then Friday night, Mike Beck and the Bohemians at the Monterey County Fairgrounds. Right. That should and be some uh, fun. And then and uh, music on Wednesday nights and Saturday nights at uh -huh. Jose's Live. You know, as a matter of fact, if, if anyone's looking for something to do right now, it's about 11 o'clock until 2 a.m., Jose's Underground, which is on Wave Street, one block up from Cattery Row. Um, Gregorio and Ozzy are the proprietary pro proprietors. Okay, thank you. Proprietors. <laughs> Anyway, the owners there. Yeah, they're and owners. they are tonight playing live music until 2 a.m. It's alternative. It's not what you're hearing here on our station. If you want to hear um, at what we're playing on our station live, then go on to Jose's Underground on Wednesday nights. Music from the 80s. Music. They have a DJ that plays music from the 80s. What you do is you go to Me and Ed's first. You order their Wacky Wednesday special, which is anything on their special board. You have a nice uh, pizza, and then you let that settle down, and then you go over to Jose's and have a dollar beer. Wow. Five dollars to get in, but then your beers are a dollar after okay. that. So they play 80s music then. So let them know that you saw saw us on TV. I'm on Monterey on tonight, tonight, right here on KYMB. It's a few minutes before 11 o'clock. I think Greg's coming in here. We should yeah, get well him let's, on. Yeah, well, let's play a couple of videos, and then we'll have Greg on. Okay. And, uh, we'll play one. We'll and talk about going. how we can help you all. Um, uh, if you get a, a moving violation, of, they call it traffic tickets. If you get one of those, Greg's going to help you and tell you how you can um, save some money. So stay tuned for that. He'll be on. He's, he's our next guest. He's also the sponsor of the next hour of uh, Monterey on tonight. So okay. what, what are we playing next? Uh, John Cougar at the time was Mellencamp. Oh, Camp. yes. Uh, Jack and Diane. But if during the music video, if you notice the clapping that it's just memorable for, that was supposed to be edited out 
but it actually helped the band keep the pace, so they left it in. So really? it was just one of those. See, uh, one of something those things. else you found out on the internet. Yep. Never would have known that when I watched it back. Oh, in you the know 80s. what? Real quick, you know what inspired? This is interesting. What inspired the Jack song? Jack and Diane. No. Yeah, and I didn't even tell you this. What is that? He was watching Splendor in the Grass with Natalie Wood and Warren Beatty, and it inspired the song. Jack and Diane. It's a well, it's a modern. Version. Here we go, uh, Jack and Diane, and uh, we'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay, that was uh, a music video that we couldn't find anything on the internet about. At least not Wikipedia. Uh, Wikipedia didn't have anything about Tarzan Boy, and uh, that was called uh, Baltimore. By uh, Baltimore. Baltimore by Tarzan Boy. No, ver reverse, honey. Oh. It's Tarzan Boy Baltimore. Tarzan Boy. Did you see a little Tarzan? In, bar in, in Baltimore. <laughs> Tarzan Boy in Baltimore. <laughs> and before that, it was... Uh, it was Jack and Diane by John Cougar Mellicamp. Look who we've got here. And look who we've got. Thank you so much, Greg, for being our sponsor for the next hour. Thank you very uh, much. It's Greg a pleasure to be here. Greg Moondeer from uh, TrafficTicketBust.com. That's correct. And, uh, you know, I tell you, we, uh, we think a lot of you and a lot of what you're doing out there. Uh, first of all, you're one of our premier sponsors on the Coastal Television Network. And so uh, I know you've been getting calls from folks in Bakersfield and Fresno and Sacramento and San Francisco and all San Jose all over, yeah, up all and down yeah. California because you and um, Sarah Nicole did a video of you speeding down the road and getting pulled over and what to do and what to do at when you get pulled over by uh, an officer of the law if you've um, had a moving violation right that's correct yeah. your company will help that particular person um, with the moving violation so why don't you tell us First of all, welcome, and tell us how that works, Greg. Well, uh, thank you very much for having me here. It's a pleasure to be here for the premiere event. But uh, basically, TrafficTicketBus.com, we're a, a website devoted to help drivers with their traffic violations. There are so many misinformed drivers out there that just don't know what to do when they get pulled over, and it's very hard to get information from the courts, and it can be very, very confusing. So what we do is help you through that process, and we do have a guaranteed traffic ticket dismissal service. Uh, and we, we do help drivers get out of their tickets for, a, again, a guaranteed fee. If, if it doesn't work out, then we are happy to refund our money. That's, uh, that's interesting. Now, let me, let me kind of walk through this. First, you um, get pulled over. And well, you get a I, I, I'm doing something. Maybe I'm a little excessive. Talking on the cell phone and watching your on-screen TV. <laughs> no. That happened. Mm, well, that happened but you a didn't long get a time ticket. ago. But that I was before the laws, that, huh? That was, that was yes. I, I didn't get a ticket. The, the officer was very nice. It was a marina police and you know what's interesting i've noticed that the marina police are that's really a speed trap totally on yeah. the highway one boy oh if you guys goodness. are going through marina on highway one be careful and in carmel and if you're not careful stop at stop signs in carmel yeah, that's right and stop at all the stop signs in carmel but you could really use greg's service but let's kind of walk through it because i i'm going to go back to the video that you guys did so i'm going down the road it's excessive speed um, I'm really not paying too much attention. Maybe I've got the radio on, and uh, all of a sudden I look up, and the red lights are in the rearview mirror, so I pull over. What's the first thing that I'm supposed to do when I pull over to the side of the road? Sure. Well, it's an all-too-familiar uh, sight for us to see the red and blue in the rearview mirror. And right. Most people get uh, pretty, pretty scared when that happens, but uh, th the key things to remember that we recommend are to... Uh, Go ahead and uh, keep your hands on the wheel when the officer approaches the car. You want to make sure he's not intimidated. Should we turn the car, car off? Yeah, turn turn the car off. Uh, take the keys and put them up on the dashboard. Is that so ah, he doesn't yes. worry about exactly. you're going to run off? He feels safe that you're not going to you know, make a break for it. Keep your hands on the wheel so he's not seeing that you're reaching for anything. And if he feels comfortable, you know, the, the odds of you getting uh, maybe a warning are a little bit higher if, if he's in his comfort zone. Uh, but again, just be really, really polite with the officer. You are permitted to ask for a warning. He can give you a warning, mm -hmm. so you at least might give it a shot. And then also make sure to sign the ticket, too, without any fuss. That's that's not admitting guilt. It's just a, a process of So law. I'm very polite with the officer. I have my hands on the steering wheel. I've got my keys sitting up on the dash. He knows I'm not going to go anywhere. And... Um, so don't, so don't reach my like. No, I, I, don't reach for our license or don't be reaching for mm -hmm. things, right? Precisely, yeah. Okay. Well, let him ask you for exactly. your license and registration, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So now um, 
I'm going to take my license out of my, I'm, I'm walking through this. Okay. Take my license out of my wallet. I'm going to hand him the after license. After he asks for it. After he asks after for he it. After he asks for it. And then the registration is usually in the glove box. But he has to ask for that too. He does. Because I, have, I haven't had to, sh I've never got tickets, but just being pulled over. You haven't got any tickets. Not like in a zillion years, <laughs> but I've been pulled over, but they let me go because I wasn't doing anything wrong. Okay. I didn't even get a so, warning, but, so but the thing is, I don't even reach for... But don't they don't they get, like, concerned when you're reaching over yeah. to the glove box? Exactly, yeah. You want to make sure not to do anything that, that can raise suspicion, so... So, when the officer is it okay, should I ask him, uh, officer, is it okay I open up the glove box? Yeah, that would be something that that okay. is very appropriate for you okay. to do. Again, you want to make sure that you're in his comfort zone, and, and if he... Ask for the registration, you know. Now, it's now in my glove box at that I've I've noticed, and this is this is from you know many years ago. I've noticed after you give them the the license and the registration, they go back to their car. What, what they do, do they do what back they do? there? Yeah, back there, they're they're doing a uh, a check of your license, you know, seeing what's going on, make sure you don't have any warrants up for your arrest. Ah. Uh, many times they'll call into their superiors, uh, you know, see if they don't know the violation that you committed. They saw you do something, but they may not know the, the necessarily the vehicle code. They'll call in superiors and, okay. and make sure they're going to write you up for the right code. Okay, so now when's the right when's the right time to ask for can I have a warning? When 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 should I put that in there? Yeah, great question. Before you uh, before he walks back to the car, typically he's going to go back and that's when he's going to write the ticket. He's already made up his mind. So, so 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 he'll probably say if it's speeding. Did you know? Did you know how, how fast, fast you, you were, were going? going? Now the, what do we say? The uh, the officers <laughs> are trained to kind of get you to admit guilt. You know, and many people. If you were doing, let's say, 80, they'll say, oh, maybe I was doing 75. But yeah. uh, d don't throw out any numbers. You know, just just hold your ground that you were doing a, a, a speed that you felt was safe, safe. for current conditions. Okay. Yeah. So That's I was good. driving at a safe speed, officer. Exactly, okay. yeah, for current conditions. For current road uh -huh. conditions. Okay. So and then, then may I have a warning? And are you permitted to issue warnings? Mm -hmm. okay. I can ask exactly. him that. Yeah, ask in a, a reasonable tone, you know, reasonable yeah. appropriate manner yeah. okay all right well then and then he goes but he's we're not going to get off today <laughs> so he's going to go back to his car and now he's going to come back with the book and he's going to ask you he's going to tell you how fast he's wrote up the violation mm -hmm. and then he's going to say what what's what happens next well all too often yeah they don't unfortunately they don't come back and, and give you a warning every once in a while we are able to get out of some of, some of them but he's going to ask you to sign the ticket and again that's not admitting guilt you're just promising that you'll show up or appear uh, on or before the court date indicated. Um, um, 30 days or something? Generally about 60 days 60 out. days, yeah. okay. It, it kind of depends. Again, if you're rude to the officer, he can make it 30 days. So ah, he again, can. Again, another, another reason to be, yeah. to, to to be, be nice. nice to the officer. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So um, now this is where, you know, you say goodbye to him. You don't kind of pull out. No burnouts. No burnout yeah. uh, after. <laughs> don't tear up the ticket. Yeah. Okay. So now you are going to do what for the people that got the violation your company is going to do well what first now? you have to call him well yeah but okay. I, i've called him now do I we wait does he does gary wait until he gets the actual thing in the mail or does he call you right away you can you can call us whenever we we're, we're happy to get the process started as soon as possible we actually want to get down as many details as we can early on you know when your memory's fresh there's little things that you may forget as time goes okay. down the road but give our experts a call uh we'll start getting down some of the details from the case and, and start developing Dave, will you put that um, that logo on the screen there to uh, the uh, traffic ticket bus dot com? Yeah, users can go to our website right now. I don't think I don't know if I gave it to you. No, it's right it's. I just saw it a few minutes ago. Didn't I see it there? Yes. Okay. Yeah. But I want to make sure I give them the right one. Tra is it the traffic ticket bus dot com? That's correct. Yes. There it is. Okay. And you have an eight hundred number. We have an eight hundred number. Representatives. Uh, yeah, Monday through Friday, eight a.m. to six p.m. And if I call the eight hundred number, what happens? To you'll you'll speak with one of our representatives, and they'll be able to tell you about our service and our options, and and a little bit about your ticket and what's going on. Okay. You know. So now, how do you help me? At traffic ticket bust. Okay. What are you going to do for me? He's going to get your credit card number first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The, the four key golden words to what we do here are the trial by written declaration. Trial by written declaration and is it, what? It's a legal process in California that all too many of us don't know about, but it's a way to contest your violation through the mail. You can write in a written defense. And what we do as professionals, we know what works in these defenses. We develop this written defense for you based on what we've seen over the years be very, very effective. Uh -huh. And this is in California. This is California only. Oh. So yeah. if you get a ticket in Las Vegas, okay. Nevada no. doesn't work. Nevada is a, a whole different so process. So it's if you're in California, and let's say you're 
you're from Monterey, but you get a ticket in Sacramento or Bakersfield. Exactly. And, okay. the, and the great thing about that, even if you're local, if the ticket's in the same city or it's 400 miles away, you don't have to go to court with our service. That's that's a, a great benefit right there in itself. And you have a money-back guarantee. That's correct. Tell us yeah. how that works. We have a uh, money-back guarantee. So if, if the case comes back and it wasn't dismissed, uh, you know, we do offer a, a full refund on our uh, premium service. Really? Yeah. Full refund. So if it's not dismissed, are we penalized? There's no if it's if it's not dismissed, the, the uh, beauty of the process is you can still go to trial after that. You can do what's called a trial de novo. So you essentially get two swings at, at oh, one really? ticket. You get two well, chances. Well, that's so yeah. worth it. And that's great. Wow. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. it's you know our motto is uh, let us take a shot at it. We're eighty. We're, we're uh, very confident it's going to work out. We have about an eighty-five percent dismissal rate. So well, I'll tell that's you what. I good. hope, I hope Sarah C Nicole doesn't mind me saying, but um, when she got her ticket was speeding i was a little nervous about her using because i wasn't familiar but i watched the whole process from the beginning to the end and i'm like wow was it, it, she actually speeding she she had i think she was doing 72 or something in a 65 Bare, just barely oh. but but, uh, uh, but she she very well may not have been speeding though she she said no. that she thought she was doing 65 well because of the radar, the radar the radars can be off you okay. know we, yeah they can very well but very it was much dismissed. be inaccurate it, it was, was dismissed yeah so she didn't have to have a fine, didn't have to go to traffic school. Her insurance didn't go sky high. <laughs> okay, now uh, I have a question about um, speeding by radar uh, if you're caught. Is generally, that's, that's a pretty good chance. Your, your, your odds are pretty good. How about running a red light? Running a red light is still, uh, we do have some defenses for that. The red light cameras that are all up and down the state, those are uh, very, very expensive fines, and we have a great set of defenses for those. You know, there's a lot of guidelines that need to be put in place for these camera systems, and if, if the prosecution isn't able to prove that all those are in effect, in place, your, your citation isn't just, and, and mm -hmm. thus you can't be issued you know, a fine. You know, when I was 17, I got a, a ticket because the light was, I was new driver, and the light was going from yellow, and I had to make a decision to stop or go, and I was a new driver, so I went. And it was turning red just as I was leaving, and they pulled me over, and I went to the judge, and I'm like, he's like, we can't have you going through a solid red light. And I'm like, no, it, it changed, and I made a decision. And that you know, I think that has to I do with the crosswalk. If you're past the crosswalk. Yeah, there's a rule with where and you're back And it turns red while you're back But, but the judge said, we can't have you. He thought I was, like, flying through this solid red light. And I'm like, that's not the circumstances. And you know they let it, they dismissed it. I see that. Well, he said, come back. He, he was 17. He goes, drive great for a year. Oh. Come back in a year. What you a have great no, judge. You, yeah, if you have no citations, I'll dismiss this. Great judge. And he did. <laughs> so I know that there's some variables, even yeah. with the red light. Absolutely, where you could yeah. really honestly feel you, you made the best decision in the situation. Yeah. Most so. of our defenses, we really rely on that we really boil down the California vehicle code you know you, most people just take the law for what it is they don't really look into what exactly it entails you know w the law what exactly is going on here so we as professionals we boil that down and, and we make the prosecution prove that all elements of the law have in fact been been broken in great how, how did you get started in this <laughs> Funny particular enough, business yeah I uh, I'm a little bit of a lead foot a few years back I got three tickets within a few weeks of each other so Ooh. yeah wow. um, and your I, insurance rate yeah <laughs> I was scared of the insurance you know the fines are over over twelve hundred dollars when oh my goodness. between all three of them so you know I did some research figured there has to be some other way there has to be some way I can do something about this I didn't want to go hire a lawyer and pay six hundred dollars you know um, and he may or may not get me out of it. So what I did is I did use the trial by declaration for those three and tickets. And it's on the, on the ticket. If you flip it over, it's, right? Yeah, on the back of you every California it. ticket. Right there in plain English, it talks about the trial by declaration. Most people just don't ever uh, take the time to flip it over. But I was able to get all three of those tickets dismissed. Uh, rumor wow. got out. But yeah, <laughs> very happy Good about that. Rumor got out between uh, family and friends. Had uh, more and more people calling me every month. And then about How a, did you do that? Exactly. How, how many... How many um, accounts have you processed this last year you were telling me it was amazing today yeah we do more and more every month as more people learn about our service but today we've done about 1200 clients helped out that's great well, and I, uh, like i said we have about an 85 percent dismissal rate that's so most right. of those clients are getting their cases dismissed. well you stick around for a minute we're going to put some more music on to entertain our audience out there and when we come back we're going to have a few tips for you viewers and also talk about uh, radar detectors so uh, stick around and um, let's play some music sure it's about 20 minutes after 11. We've been here now for almost four hours. Did you skip that next one? Okay, so we're, the one that's coming up is, uh, what called is the, it? Okay, it's called The Final Countdown, and it's from Europe. You'll recognize it once you hear it. The Final and Countdown. And what, what inspired this, the group, to do this? 
was they were looking for a song that they could play at their concert open. This, oh. That's all. They only, so they they were inspired by David Bowie's song called Space Oddity. Yeah. And so they created this song, and it did so well, they actually released it. I mean, it was never meant to be released, but it just, like, the popularity just shot up. So okay. anyway, Well, enjoy it. guys, let's... Uh, Let's roll the next video. We'll be back in just a few minutes. With uh, okay, We're back, and uh, that was uh, the final countdown by Europe from the uh, MTV days, 1980s. I haven't seen that one in a long time. No. And uh, everybody was rocking and rolling in the studio. Europe had their own sound. They did. They did another song called Asia. Yeah. It's just, just very unique. I love it. It's a little after uh, 25 minutes it? after 11 o'clock, if you happen to... Just tune in. You're watching Monterey on tonight. This is our premiere show, the very first one from the studios at KYMB, Comcast Cable Channel 19, right here in Monterey, in Santa Cruz on Comcast 29, soon to be 19. 8 p.m. to midnight. And we're on four hours with live TV every Saturday so night. So next, next week, have tonight. a party. Have yeah, a party have a, at your house. Have a pizza party for me and Ed's. And watch our show. <laughs> we're here with... Uh, Greg Mundir of TrafficTicketBust.com. If you can put that on the screen, uh, Dave, one more time, because uh, that's a mouthful, TrafficTicketBust.com. I have to say that kind of slow, and there's the 800 number for you to call. And if you missed the last segment, Greg's been here. He's our sponsor for the last hour. Yes. He's also on our Coastal Television Network as a sponsor. And uh, you have received some phone calls from our viewers, Absolutely. haven't you? Absolutely. Yeah, all up and down. You know, up we do all of the California, valley. so all up and down the coast and yeah. inland, they've been uh, calling us. Good, good. And um, one of the things we wanted to also tell the viewers tonight is um, you have some tips for them. I do. Yeah, the uh, the best way to get out of a ticket, of course, is to not get one in the first place. So, right. um, you know, drive safe. Make sure, you know, when, uh, uh, for example, red light violations, if, if it's going to be on the fence, you're going to be on the fence about it, hit the brakes. You know, don't go through it. Right. For speeding, just always make sure your speed is, is safe and reasonable and, and keep an eye out for, for cops on the side of the road. And measuring pedestrians. For speeds. And, and pedestrians, pedestrians, of course, <laughs> yes. And no, uh, you know, what a lot of people don't know what the speed limit is on the roads they're driving. And isn't it right as you're getting onto the freeway, isn't there a sign that says whether it's 65 or 55? Isn't it right there at the beginning of the freeway? Yeah, especially here in Monterey, there's so many little roads that it's, it's tough to know if it's a 25 or a 35 mile an hour speed limit. Uh, what we recommend is uh, we do offer a, a wide variety of radar detectors on our site that actually let you know when, when cops ahead are measuring speeds. And that's, that's uh, legal. Completely legal, 50 yeah. state legal, yeah. And you can just, you know, uh, it, you don't have to be a lead foot to need one of these devices. It's just nice to know up ahead there's, there's a cop measuring speeds. And it's also speeds a, a good reminder because they go off sometimes even when there's not an officer. But it, it, the, the, the beeping reminds you to look at your speedometer That's when you right, might not does. ordinarily look at it. And right? there exactly. you have uh, some of the best at your store. We carry only the best, the Escort line of radar detectors. They're proven to be the most effective. And for all the uh, KYMB viewers tonight, we're offering $50 off of any of our devices. Wow. Yeah, really? So d just That's go to the website. Wow. Uh, I think Dave's going to put it uh, on the TV here. Or Promo it's code on. KYMB. Cool. Enter KYMB wow. and yeah, fifty dollars off any of those radar detectors there. Okay. And and now tell me, there's radar and then there's lidar. There's what, yeah. What is lidar? Lidar is a also known as laser is a, a new type of way to measure speed. It's it's been around not quite as long as radar, and it's actually a beam of light that is aimed at the vehicle and, and bounced back, and that's how the uh, the officer is able. No, is that more accurate than radar? It's it's about the same. It's a little bit at more accurate. Actually. Actually, but if your car is dirty, that's a good defense that we can use because it, it may not uh, be able to uh, re reflect the signal as much. Also, if you're driving a motorcycle or something, it's very hard for the officer to aim at that small, small vehicle. Well, I would think so. I would think that would be difficult. Yeah. Well, good. How many, how many um, people in California get tick tickets every year? It's it's <laughs> hard to I'm put. Just it's it's astonishingly large. Uh, it's hard to put an exact number on it. We've heard rumors and we've done estimates about 16 million. Oh. Tickets given out every yeah, that's everything wow. from a broken uh, okay, you know what? We have in the studio. Wow. We have in the studio. There's three of us up here, and there's one, two, three, four. Anybody else? Or did the rest of we had five leave. We have five. We had five left. But let's just do a survey. How many in this room right now have received a traffic violation in the last win? We'll say recently. Three years. No, three no, years. no, no, recently. Just uh, last. Six months. Six uh, months. <laughs> that would be so we have one out of. No, no, two. Two. And you got two, right? Two. T t t t t t 
I, I won't say who it was. Hey, did you get a call? <laughs> He's you, fighting in the Yeah, we're, we're taking He needs to call. It's uh, that motorcycle. Greg. Is it, was it, were you on a motorcycle? Yeah. yeah. How did they get you? Was it? Was you know, it? I was just uh, looking out for my own safety. And, oh, my you know, goodness. You getting around a slow car that's putting on their brakes, you know, and, and, uh, and I get punished. Poor Dave. Dave. Oh. <laughs> Oh okay. well, Dave. Well, if you now you know Greg. And if you now haven't, you, yeah. if you haven't gotten a ticket lately, you should probably still write this information down. Exactly because, because the chances are, are exactly. you're gonna get one. Exactly. Or someone you know. Or someone you know. When I when I meet people in person, I tend to uh, jinx them, and they'll they'll <laughs> go years and years without a ticket. I'll tell them what they do and yeah. or what I do, and yeah. they'll go great, great. And well, then seven days later, they'll give me a call. They're expensive. And go, Guess yeah. what? How much are the what's the what what is the what, well, what red is the light going? Ca- red light tickets are over four hundred and fifty dollars. So those are those are pretty. Brutal. Uh, speeding tickets range from about mid 200s anywhere up to 400 or 450. Wow. Wow. And that's just the, the the price of the fine. That's not factoring in insurance hikes and traffic school and things like now, that. Now, so how does how does uh, traffic school work? Um, if I if I wanted uh, if I use your service, but for some reason it doesn't work because um, you weren't able to help us, is there still a traffic school for that person? Yeah, absolutely. If if uh, Contesting your violation through the mail does not affect your traffic, traffic school okay. eligibility. That's Many what people I think ask. that if they do fight their ticket, that it's automatically, you know, traffic school is out of the question. But uh, 99% of the time, if you're already eligible for traffic school, you're going to be able to do it if it does come back. Okay. And, and, again, and what traffic school does, you still have to pay the fine. Uh-huh. And you have to pay for traffic school, but it doesn't go on your record. That's is correct, that right? because okay. to many people, insurance is, is very important. It's very expensive. So to keep okay. that down, keep those points at a minimum. So you coach everyone through this? Yeah, we're able to answer okay. any of these questions that the court just can't answer. They're too backed up. Yeah. It, it takes an hour and a half to get on the phone with the court. So well, we're here for Well, number one, thank you for your sponsorship of our program, Greg. Thank you, here thank you very much. I had a great Diego. time. Yes, coming there's, up from There's San one Diego. last thing I want oh, to mention. Oh, sure, go uh, ahead. You said traffic ticket bust is, is kind of a tongue twister, and it is. Uh, we're launching a new site uh, on April 1st called TicketKick.com. A That's little bit easier easy. to say, but also it's going to be a much, much more user-friendly website. We'll have blogs on there so you can go on and talk about your ticket and what oh, happened. Oh, great. Uh, more user videos. You've got a great web designer a lo- to put that together. Yeah, yes. we're, we're, we hired the best uh, best firm in, in town down in so, San Diego. It's, so it's I'll be, be able site. to go on the web and actually do all the stuff myself? Yeah, you'll be able to, you know, if it's 2 a.m. and you want to take care of your ticket, you'll be able to do everything right there. It'll have all the questions. Well, you can come back on since you're going to be a sponsor and you're going to be back here in Monterey from time to time. When the new company is up and running, you can come back on and talk about it. Yeah, we'll do another one. I love Monterey. I I, uh, look for every excuse. Doesn't your mom live here? That's correct. Yeah, I'm actually born in, or was born in Monterey. Great. Um, From lived here until about the age of three. Um, But I, I, like I said, any excuse to get back here is good. And now you're living in uh, San Diego. San Diego. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's a beautiful place too. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you, Greg. Thanks for time. Thanks for coming on. And uh, we're going to get back to more music for the last half hour. We're going to play more music videos. And let's see, what do we have next? Oh, Bow Wow Wow? I want candy. I want candy. And this candy. is from, ni- oh, this was first recorded in 1965. And then Bow Wow re-recorded it in 1982. And MTV played the heck out of this. I mean, it was just uh, played yes. all the time. So anyway, some So fun. I want candy. This is Bow Wow Wow uh, right here on uh, Monterey on Tonight with Gary and Jules. Yep. Here it is. Okay, uh, Destination Unknown by um, none other than Missing Persons. Back from the 80s, classic music videos right here on the Monterey on Tonight Show, hosted by Gary and Jules. Jules, and before that was Abracadabra by Steve Miller Band. Yes. And Steve Miller Band, when they were doing uh, TV shows in the 60s, they met Diana Ross. They did? They did, and that's what inspired that song, Go Figure. Can you believe that? <laughs> uh, I, you know what's amazing to me is that all this information was never available until the Internet and Google. Yep. And now it's just out there for anybody to look up. It's amazing, just amazing. Well, it's almost time. we got about 15 more minutes. Can we've you believe here? we've been here for four hours and it just seems uh, just like fly. it just flew by so fast? You've been watching the premiere edition of Monterey on Tonight, Gary and Jules. We're going to be here. Every Saturday night right here on Comcast Cable Channel 19, KYMB-TV. And uh, we're going to be having fun. In fact, that is what is uh, etched in stone out here in front of the office. It says, we are going to have fun. So that's why we're here. We're going to invite you to tune in every Saturday night. 
put and, your feet and, up on the couch. And keep the channel on Comcast 19 That's right. for, um, during the week for our MGM movies on this TV network. It's and a great network. It's movies all the time. And next week, our guest is going to be, is it, is it Hunter Fennell next week? I think so. He had to go out of town. Well, actually, th tonight he was hosting the Monterey Chamber uh, awards. A a annual awards dinner, and he regretfully couldn't be here. Yeah, and we then he's flying out to San Francisco, so he promised us. And you'll start seeing him on our um, network anyway because he's doing the show. He's doing a new show, Hunter Fennell, many years Around at uh, Carmel. Many years at KION, and now uh, with his own company and uh, doing a great job with a show called Around Carmel with Hunter Fennell. And it's not just Carmel, though. That was, no, just no, the that was just, just the play the name, on words. Because it plays on words. It's, it's, it really exactly. sounds good. It rhymes, <laughs> Around Carmel with Hunter Fennell. Yeah. And Hunter's such a great guy, and he's going to be our guest. And We'll uh, have Gary Hamada back to tell Gary's us more stories. Gary's going to be back to talk about And we've got other two stories. other surprise guests. So yeah, you surprise guests. So you guys have to tune in every Saturday night, 8 to midnight, right here. We want a cult following. If you like the music videos, the classic music and our videos, guests. you're going to have guests. And we will actually have a lot of tips on our sponsors. And like we, the we're pizza. also, we right. haven't got it all set up yet, but we're also going to have giveaways. Things totally, for yeah. free that you can, you know, like movie tickets. Drawings. And drawings, yeah. and, and we're even going to give away free pizza. Right? You know what? If you'd like to start getting in for the drawings, I don't know what we're going to give away yet. I'm working on that. She's working but, on that. But it. if you go to kymbtv.com, Dave, I don't know if you want to punch that again, but kymbtv. Can you find it, Dave? And on, put it on, on there that it is. page, it's, it's a really simple website, but there's a feedback form. And just put uh, some your comments, feedback, how you like the show. Maybe there's music videos you'd like to see. And then also, um, if you'd like to be entered into our uh, contest, and we'll we'll keep the name in, and we and whatever we're gonna give away, then we'll go ahead and, and have gonna, your name yeah, in there. Yeah, this is gonna be the place for lots of goodies, and, and uh, uh, lots of information and lots of music. So every Saturday night, feet up on the couch. You guys don't have to go out anymore. You we'll know. actually have people over. Uh, yeah. You have to go out if you're going to another place to watch our show. <laughs> you said something about what now? It's what called, kind of party? It's called KYMB Watch Party. Watch it's party. the Monterey on Tonight Watch Party. So basically, Is that like you like get all your friends together, yeah. and you order the world's best pizza for, for me and Ed's, Ed's, and you ask for the $10 special. And while I have a chance, let's then, thank tonight's sponsors. We want to thank me and Ed's, Acromit Me and Ed's, Broadway and Fremont. We want to thank uh, Teeny Shake from... Um, Isabella's and, and Latitudes. Latitudes. Uh, Teeny's a great guy. Been uh, a friend of ours since we got to the Monterey Peninsula. Monterey Movie Tours. Doug Lundsdom. Oh, you know what? Do we have time to play a Monterey Movie Moments before we yeah. leave? Yeah. Do we have that loaded, Dave? We'll give you a couple of minutes. Can we give you a couple of minutes? Is it tough? Is it hard to find? Uh, Monterey, Monterey Movie, Movie Moments, Moments with Doug Lundsdom. We'll give you a couple of minutes. Okay, Is it ready? Well, just let's go do that. Go and yeah, Monterey Movie Tours. Let's go do that. Uh, and this then is we'll about, come back. This is about three minutes, and it's going to give you a preview of what Doug's doing uh, for. And he's one of our sponsors tonight, and also TrafficTicketBus.com. Thank you, Greg. Uh, that was very informative, and uh, he's also one of our sponsors on the Coastal TV Network. Yep. So here you go. Uh, here's uh, Doug Lundstam. Doug? Lundstam. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Monterey Movie Moments. I'm your host, Doug Lundstam, coming to you from the back deck of the fabulous Lodge of Pebble Beach. The spectacular beauty of the Monterey Peninsula has been the backdrop for Hollywood movies for over a hundred years, many of which have been filmed right here on the Pebble Beach Golf Links. On each segment of Monterey Movie Moments, we'll visit one of those wonderful movie sites, tell you a little about the making of the movie, and show you the actual scene filmed at that location. In fact, let's visit one of those movie sites right now. Well, we're at a site where a movie was filmed on the Monterey Peninsula, and we're here today because of an email that I received from one of our Monterey Movie Moment viewers. Let me read it for you. Hi, Doug. One of our favorite movies when we were growing up was the movie A Summer Place with Sandra Dee and Troy Donahue. I think some of the movie might have been filmed on the Monterey Peninsula. There's a scene in the movie where Troy Donahue picks Sandra Dee up from a girls' school and takes her to his dad's bed and breakfast inn. Do you know if that scene was filmed on the Monterey Peninsula? We've tried to find that school during our visits there, but just haven't been able to. Can you shed some light on this for us? Signed, Michelle and Bill Evans, Visalia, California. 
well michelle and bill thank you so much for sending your e mails we are at that site where that scene was filmed it was actually for a brief period of time it was like time was actually a school but really what it's known for today it's called colton hall just behind me this is where california's constitution was written in eighteen forty nine it is an extremely historic building not only for us here in monterey but for the entire state of california hollywood loves this building it's been in many scenes of movies throughout the years and uh, today interestingly the second floor of the building is actually a replica of the constitutional meeting hall uh, of that time um, and this was just preceding california's entry to the union so a very important this is probably one of the most important buildings in uh, early california history the lower floor today is actually housed by some of the staff of city hall city hall is in fact right next to us so this is located right downtown uh, Monterey, right on Pacific Street. Now, Hollywood loves this building. It has been in many scenes of movies throughout the years, including a scene in the one that you talked about in your email, the scene in one of the big blockbusters of our time that was filmed here, the movie A Summer Place. Now, interestingly, in the movie, this was Briarwood School for Girls, a girls school supposedly back in Boston. Monterey stands in for a lot of different places in the world. Now, all they had to do for this scene is place a sign on the right here, right where I'm at, right about in this location right here, a sign that says Briarwood School for Girls, once again, supposedly back in Boston, not in Monterey here. And um, in the scene, you're going to see Troy being dropped off by a truck to the right of the building. He winds his way to Sandra D, standing right out in front. He's rescuing her from the girls' school to take her to his dad's bed and breakfast inn to get approval to marry. Now, everything looks exactly the same today, except for the sculptures of the grizzly bears right to our left here, which were placed in the lawn after this scene was filmed in 1959. Here's this wonderful scene in the movie, A Summer Place. Michelle and Bill, I hope you enjoy it. We start, Johnny. I've signed out till midnight, and I, I don't think I'll be missed till after then. By that time, we'll be receiving Dad's blessing. Thanks for watching this segment of Monterey Movie Moments. By the way, if you have a favorite scene of a movie that you think was filmed on the Monterey Peninsula, just drop me a line at Doug at MontereyMovieTours.com. If we select to go to that site, we'll mention your name on the air, and we'll send you two tickets to join us on Monterey Movie Tours. I'm Doug Lumsden. See you next time on Monterey Movie Moments. Doug, and I love that music. There's no business like show business. Isn't yep. that what that music's from? That is. Anyway, so uh, here we are again. We've got about uh, seven minutes left tonight. Can I tell her what's going you on? You sure can. Okay. Go ahead. Remind everybody that... Uh, oh, make sure Dave's okay. Uh. <laughs> make sure Dave's what? <laughs> Not talking. I can't think when he's doing oh. a live TV okay. here. Okay. E uh, Eastminster... Animal Welfare Alliance is looking for volunteers for their April 3rd pet parade. Oh and it's going yes. to be at the Sunset Center from 1 to 4 p.m. on April 3rd. And they're looking for volunteers now. So if you want to call um, Susan Bradley, and if you actually just go to our website, kybtv.com, and let us know you're looking for that information, and I can email it to you. It's, it's the easiest way to get that information to you. And she also has a radio program weekly every Thursday from 3 to 4 p.m. on 1240 KNRY Radio. Jim's station does a right. great job running that station. Right. And uh, another thing going on here, uh, March 5th, 5th through 7th is Dixieland Monterey Festival. So you can go to uh, cmonterey.com. That's the uh, Monterey County Visitor and Convention Bureau's website. They can give you more information about that. Thank you, Celeste White. And if you're looking for something to do, I'm looking at the clock when you see me do that. If you're looking for something to do until 2 a.m., Jose's Underground, which is on Wave Street, one block up from Cannery Row. They've got live music. It's alternative. It's not like what we played tonight. But they do have uh, live music, and it's $5 and an ID to get in. 
I and, don't listen and to then the if you like what we're playing tonight and you'd like to hear some more of it during the week, on Wednesday night, go to me and Ed's Pizzeria on Broadway and uh, what's that street? Broadway and Broadway Fremont. And, uh, Fremont. Yes. And uh, order their Wacky Wednesday, any of the specials that they have. You can order any of them. And then when you're done there, go down to Jose's Underground and five dollars will get you in you can hear uh, music videos from the 80s it's actually live music it's we're playing the videos they're going to do live music during the week is it and live it's or is it a dj it's a dj and, okay. and you know what they've got live dj and you know it's dj he told me who dj jackson dj That's, jackson he's the play he's the dj for that no no d can you name the original mtv djs can you yeah well i think so go ahead i don't know go uh, ahead nina um jj jackson really um, oh boy. Okay, I well, let's look it up in next week. No, we'll I, I, I think, um, let's see, uh, um, I'll have to, I'll have to wait okay. till next week. I, okay. Well, I that's from I stumped uh, myself. You did. You stumped <laughs> me too. On eight, um, on Wednesdays from eight to 10, Jose's Underground is, um, is going to have that music. And Jose's Mexican Restaurants have a leather location on Broadway and Del Monte, and they have really great Mexican food. So let Gregorio and Ozzy know that you saw us on TV and ask them what kind of deal they can give you. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching our premiere show tonight. We want to thank again Cool TV. And also we're going to be uh, closing with our, our final video. I'll I have it right here. What is our it? It's Power Station. Get it on. Uh, get it on. And this was inspired by Chuck Berry's Little Queenie video. This, yep. is, this is what it was. And then also... After our show, we should be switching, if our switch goes correctly, to the Coastal TV Network. First time. First time. Cable Channel 19. It's airing 24 hours a day, seven days a week in other markets, but here it's overnight. And so we'll get your Comcast cable guide updated, so just yep. bear with us. <laughs> Sorry so. about that, folks. If the uh, guide says something different, it'll be correct soon. And MGM will be back in the morning with movies. That's right. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great night. Good, Good night. <laughs>